Hey, this is Conversations Plus. We're live. We're live with Sarah Hill. Who, we just had a great episode. Hey, Sarah. Hey. Hey. Chris Gab is here as well. Yeah, nice to see you, everybody. Nice to see you. And Jane Ellen just popped in literally at the same time that we started. Good timing. Literally. I brought my jazz hands. Jazz hands. So Sarah, that was a great choice. So this, this, what this is just more like a hangout. I mean, if people have questions, that's great. Or if you just want to talk about anything, like what you're dying to, you're dying to have an ice cream Sunday, or go running, or or you need to talk about. Bruce probably has a couple of questions. Well, you know, it, what's what's really interesting is that you know we're we're pretty fortunate being some of the first generation users here on this platform. We've been around from the beginning. Where I met you, Matthew. I met Sarah Way at the beginning, and and, and many other people that, you know, the, the numbers of people that we met in the beginning are just too many to mention, but it, it's just a, a it, it's really very exciting, I guess is the good word to use, that we're able to grow on this platform together and we help each other learn different tips mm -hmm. and tricks along the way and we helped each other, you know, why isn't this working and what can we do about that and because of some of the things we we're doing. I mean, this goes way back before Hangouts on Air, where we used to use third party applications to to stream video and share links in, in other ways. And um, I think one of the sm smartest moves that Google ever made was giving us the ability to broadcast and share what we do with others, you know, highlighting others. I mean, what we do is not necessarily about ourselves. It's, it's as a broadcaster, you hide. We're opening the window to share stories about other people and what they do. You know what I mean? So it's it's just very very interesting and exciting to be able to be in a position to do that. Awesome. Hey Jane, are you can? Jane is beautiful. Jane is here. Sarah's beautiful. Lots of beauties going on here, uh, and they're both talented and smart individuals as well. You know that's interesting too. The idea of Google Plus being this, oh, there's all, no, there's no, it's all men, there's no women. But my experience was not like that at all. I mean, I lots of women popped into hangouts and they were involved. I mean, what you want to talk a little bit about how there are media lets on, you know, that either Sarah or Sarah can jump on. Yeah, um, there are there are lots of women on the platform. Um, we hang out with them all all of the time. I guess say for my hangouts. Um, the majority of them are men, but there are are majority of men, um, you know, on the platform. So that would only only make sense. But uh, definitely, obviously, want to connect with with more women in this space and get more ladies in here. Um, people are talking about topics like military wives. People are talking about topics um, like knitting, like motherhood, um, and um, yeah, items like that. So it, it's a great place for women to connect face to face. And tech. And, and tech. tech. Sure. Yes, tech. women in tech. Absolutely. Yeah. It's big. Yeah, Jane comes from radio. And Sarah's been in radio. Radio goes down. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. And, uh, yeah, I do love my technology. <laughs> me, t me too. I'm pretty geeked, geeked out about it. And it's, it's great to be able to connect with other, other women um, and men and, and talk about the next technology and the new trends. And that's how I get my, my news, essentially, about this platform. is isn't necessarily watching the posts, but it's, but it's joining the Hangouts, right? And hearing okay. and asking people, you know, what, hey, did, have you noticed a new feature come out? You know, what, are you, what projects are you working on? Um, what interesting things have you seen in the stream today? Um, you know, that, that's, kind of, that's kind of my news stream, isn't necessarily the post stream, but the face-to-face -face Hangout stream. Yeah, getting somebody giving you a link to a post that you missed or you didn't see right in the Hangout. So, you know, and I think that the Hangout could get better in the chat where we can actually just be able to share people and share links and share profiles and share things that, that, that are on Google Plus right in the chat room for people to yeah. see, maybe even open up in the Hangout. I think they were looking at doing, they were looking at one point, I think maybe even you notifications in Hangouts, but I think that would have been, they felt like that would have overwhelmed the Hangout if you had your stream or your notifications in oh, the yeah. Hangout. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it might but, have. But it's not, only, it's not only the news and sharing all that stuff that, that we all enjoy so much, but you know, there's so many people using this platform in so many different ways, Matthew, that, you know, we're all aware of it. We, you know, to, just to take, to take a couple for an example, we have, we have photographers that use this platform extensively to share some of the interesting shots that they're doing, but not only sharing some of the shots that they're taking, they'll come into a hangout and show their post-production edit, editing skills. How do you enhance it? How do you take a blemish off somebody? 
how do you do some of those Photoshop types of tricks to make that photograph just look just that much better? And people are sharing this stuff with others for just the love of sharing. Yeah. You know? And my apologies that I have to duck out. This is my a text from my daughter. Uh -huh. <laughs> she is ready to be picked up um, from her dance lesson. So my apologies, cool. I have to skate out. But thank you for the um, opportunity to Paul share. Was, it's great to see you guys. I just want to say real quick, Paul okay. Riston, I don't think I'm getting your time, but he definitely was, he's watching and, and he wanted to say hi. So if he misses you, if he misses you. But, but thanks, Paul. Uh, but thank yeah. you, Sarah. You're great. And in, in, in real quick, last last thing, maybe big thing we can expect, the, so the virtual honor flight, the Veterans United Home Loans, is there, is there you know, a, a, a regular hangout, the 4 p.m. hangout? Uh, mm -hmm. Is there something very specific you want to do, like a big thing that you want to do, like when it comes to, is it about making businesses and Google Plus better? Mm -hmm. That's your it's, big. About, it's about businesses connecting with their customers face to face in real time, um, and and that's what we're using this space to bring um, customers and uh, other people who are consuming your content um, into the conversation with you. It's living, breathing social media, um, not text based media. So yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you, Sarah. Hill. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You got that right. Nice to meet you, yeah. Jane. And Thank you so um, much. good to see you, Bruce yeah. and Matthew. I'm Take glad. care. All right. Bye. 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 Sarah Take Hill. Care. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 <laughs> that was Sarah Hill. My pleasure. Uh, I think a few more people will pop in. So, thanks. I don't know, Jane. I don't know if you saw some of it. I don't know if Bruce is watching. I know you both shared it. Thank you so much for being supportive. And you know, it's great to wind down the hangout conversation. This is first year. And, Get Sarah Hill and Mark Rodriguez and Sweet 709. I'm, I do what I can. I don't know. I work. I work the magic and try to get them here. And you know, you know, Matthew. As as I know, you're inviting a few other people into the into the after show right now. But you know, to to talk about Sarah Hill just a little bit more. That you know, she's really, uh, in my opinion, a, a true pioneer in this platform. She makes what she does look so easy, and and it's not easy. You know, to be she was talking about in the in the regular show how she has, you know, two earpieces. You know, one to talk to her producer and another one to talk to everybody in the hangout. And when you're on a live broadcast on a live camera at a TV station, going out to the community that she lives, broadcasting real real news on on television during the dinner hour and so forth, and then be able to turn around and go, "Hey, Matthew, so what's going on in New York today?" Or Bruce, what's happening in Boston? You know, and it's 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 a skill to be able to manage all of that technically not and have that presence to to report the news in in the fashion that she did it it's she made it look real easy and what she's doing now with um on a flights and um you know everything else i mean all i can say for everybody that is following sarah or is just learning about sarah now you know circle her follow her Pay attention to what she's doing. Put on your seatbelts because it's going to be a very fun, exciting ride. <laughs> yeah, wow. No, that was great. Sarah's great. and You're great. I think there's a lot of great people, but Sarah's done some good, you know, inviting people into her news hangouts from, from last summer and uh, covering all the different stories. And I know Hurricane Irene and, and, and uh, so many stories. Mike Mike Downs is a big fan. I wore that. I did wear I threw the tie. This, I didn't really put it on because, come on, this isn't a suit tie show. Wait a minute. I, wait, I threw it away. No, no I threw it away. I, I own a couple of ties. Well, I had a thought, and, and it's a shame Sarah had to go, uh, but it dawned on me because I'm usually, uh, I usually get to pop in with Maria and Shaka on the Fox 11 show. And I, as you know, I did radio for many, many years before Hangouts came out. And you interact with your viewers and your listeners a certain way all the time. And Hangouts have changed the way you can interact. And it has dawned on me that the people who interact with the newscasters now in Hangouts are perhaps uh, closer to them, the ones who are vetted and are in all the time, are closer to them than people who actually watch them on a regular basis, you know, every morning at 9, every night at 5. Because they sit there in such an intimate surrounding as their regulars all the time. Exactly. 
And it's just, it has changed things so much. I mean, I, I'm friends with a lot of news anchors in Nashville, and yeah, I can call them, and yeah, we email, but you know, we don't spend that much time like this talking. We just don't. And I mean, I, we could just go and, you know, sit in the same space and, you know, see each other face to face if we want to, but. We just don't for some reason. But you spend every morning with someone like, hey, this is just what happened and someone's here. It's it's all of a sudden it's a different type of relationship that you have that's different from what they have with their regular viewers. And uh, it's just different. And it's interesting and it's a it's just it's I mean just you become a real friend. I mean you're hitting point. it right on the head, Jane, I think. You're becoming really close friends with, with these people. Um and, and when you're watching Old school television, the, the the news that we're all accustomed to watching, or, or any TV show that may be on. Yeah, I feel like Mrs. Yeah. Miller on Merv, you know. It, it's you know, <laughs> you know, every everybody is just a person. I mean, we're all just people doing a job, whatever our job happens to be. Their job happens to be on television, feeding mm -hmm. you the news all the time, and they're in that box, as Sarah used to put it. You know, I live in this box, and. You know what, what? What Google Plus is giving us, and the Hangout feature, is the ability, as you said, to actually become real face-to-face -face friends, living in real time, asking real questions, right here, right now, as it unfolds. And when you meet somebody for the very first time, it's it is hugs and kisses because you do have that that feeling of that you've known these people for all their lives. I mean. I mean, I met Matthew, you know, a couple times this year in, in New York City for the for a couple different hurls that he helped coordinate that were just fantastic events. And when we met people from all over the world that flew in for these events, I mean, I felt like I've known him my whole life. It's yeah. really a tremendous. You just want to grab, you want to hug him, pat <laughs> everything. It's like it's not. It's like you could be in the world, you could be in class with someone, go to school with someone, you don't even want to be in the same room with them half the time. But you meet someone from Google Plus, someone from Hangouts, and you're embracing them, and it's like doesn't even matter because you you have that relationship with them. But exactly. you know, Sarah Hill already wanted me to kiss her and, <laughs> and everything. So it's just like just like bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Yeah, but, uh, and I, we I've all said do. this before. You have to redefine meet now, even if you only met in this space. Right. I mean, uh, Matthew and I have only met in this space, but we spend so much time together. <laughs> really, Mr. Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Hi so guys. now I've so I physically have met both Paul and Bruce, and I feel like I've met Jane. And you will might. in October. Maybe will in October, and we'll come full circle because that's what this blows is about on Sundays. Mm -hmm. Paul, you're eating nice. Paul brings us some food born straight from. You bring enough for everybody, Paul. <laughs> Nope. No. Nope. Is it chowder? It's, it's all leftovers. All right. Some chowder. Not chowder? No. No chowder. So, Paul, you got to catch some of it, maybe? A little bit? Yeah. I asked, I asked yeah. a question. Yeah, I saw that. Cool. Thank you. No My pleasure. I, hey, why not? Uh, <laughs> Paul, when, so, hey, Paul, welcome. What can we expect you, uh, Speed Paint? Talk about your time, your broadcasting uh, of speed painting. I know Bruce has helped you with that. If you have one, you've had a bunch. Speed painting, yeah. I, I draw uh, speed paint caricatures of people. You speed paint and body paint, but I, <laughs> but, but I, you speed body paint. My bad. I, I didn't mean you. I didn't make you Cliff Roth. Cliff, body Cliff body Roth is the body painter. <laughs> but Cliff Roth, yeah. People mix that up. They think you're the you're the body painter for some reason. It's really, but you can yeah. you can speed paint if you wanted to. I know you can. Where's Cliff? We gotta get. Cliff I invited him. He said he's just listening. Just listening is fine. Because he's just busy. Let's turn this into. Let's listen. turn this into the artist hangout. I think he's working. Yeah, we can. I invited all the art. I'll invite my art circles. Who will show up? Who will? Um. Yeah, I'm just flustered after that kiss. That's all. You know, I still can't. I missed the kiss. Yeah, it was. It was her idea. Uh. Yeah. Very sweet. It was on the cheek. I guess mine well, don't fluster you. Fine. Yours fluster me. You want to do one? I know. <laughs> I won't be able to concentrate. All right. Uh, so it's amazing what's happened over. Well, I see the numbers. Everyone's like, "Where's Sarah Hill?" The numbers are dropping. What about us? <laughs> 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 Woo! 
No, it's, it was a great interview, and, and I think I basically covered everything I could. I tried to cover everything, and uh, I think it was pretty laid back for her. Bruce, how does how does how did she compare her answers and the way she was? Was she more a little more casual, or still very news? No, no, no. It's, uh, you know, Sarah comes across. She's a she's a real lady, and and very open. Um, you know, she's a friend to all of us, and. You know, you asked the question. She didn't back away from everything. She she answered everything, I believe, you know, very honestly and did a great job. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there were great questions that you asked, I believe. They they um, they took her from, from the news, from, from the anchor desk, all the way to what she's doing with the veterans and, and on a flights now. So um, yeah. the platform's only a year old. Um, and we've done a lot, an awful year. lot of stuff. I mean, I just I, I can't even Im begin to imagine what this platform is going to be able to do for not only Sarah but for, for everybody else that engages with it. Because that's the that's the real word word to use is engagement. If if you're on Google Plus and in the Hangout, it's a it's a platform to engage. And if you choose to engage with people, you're going to meet some incredible talent, some incredible friends. Um, you're going to learn things that you never believed that you would would learn. You would get involved with things that you never thought that you'd be involved with, and it really opens up. It's a it's a it's a window to the world. It's a doorway to the world where all you need to do is engage and walk through it. You know. Yeah. And I would even say you could skip the engagement and go straight to marriage. But <laughs> what that? Paul is agreeing. Paul Paul Paul's a man of many food words. Eating in the hangout, not bringing it up for all of us. It's, I, that's why I called you a speed painter. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like I'll talk. No soup for you. It's like I'll swallow and then talk. What? Oh, I guess not. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. out. Anyway. Yes? I was right. in L.A. last week and I met uh, Maria Kwaibang. How did I? Oh, really? I that's something you're holding yeah. back, all right? Did you paint her? It was pretty awesome. No, I didn't paint her. Did you rerun her show? Yeah, Shaka Shaka wasn't there that day though. Is there a video? Oh man! I met Tony Ewing. Yes. Is there? Where's the video of this? They never make it public right away. I didn't even know this was. Was this a big announcement so that you told everybody about that I missed? No, I didn't really tell anybody. What? Why? You're telling us now. Well, now. It wasn't a big deal. I just went to visit the set. How well does she know you? I mean, you know her pretty well. Well, I hung out a few times on her morning thing. Cool. She's sweet. She's yeah. real and just as real in person as she is. Was that when you went the, the last time? You that was was that recent? Yeah, just last Friday. Wait, you were in LA last Friday? Yeah. New York, LA, you get around. Buddy. Planes go every day. I I heard that's that's the going. <laughs> So what was your LA trip? Was your LA trip to see her, or was there something bigger? No, it was a body paint event. It was a big body paint event, so I was just in the area. So that picture with Cam and Raleigh was that from that? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought that was your old. Yes. I thought that was an old picture. No. All right, that makes sense. So talk to us. You got you got to hurl in New York. You got to hurl in LA. And yeah. I'm doing a one and a half hour Nashville hurl tomorrow. You want to do a ninety minute hurl? Ninety minutes <laughs> at the airport. Do that. Who do you, yeah. Anybody you know that you're hurling with? Um, at the moment, it's just me and, and Pearl Lombardo. I think we're going to start. Oh, with. cool! Does she? Isn't, I, um, isn't Peter McDermott out there? McDermott's totally blown me off. I said, "Hey, Peter, I'm going to be in town," and he's like, "Cricket." Gotta work. <laughs> You know, uh, like, what? blew me off tonight. What? Where he is? Not like that. All right. Whoa! Uh, family invite, did, you, did you invite Peter McDermott to this hangout? Did I invite? He was. I invited. I haven't him. seen him in like ten years. Ten years. Considering that you've only known him for one, that's amazing. I know. It's I know. crazy, isn't it? It's crazy how time travel works. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, yeah. three degrees, six degrees of Peter McDermott. So. So what I don't know. So we've been here almost. Uh, we've been here over a year now. All these new features popped out. Uh, the birthdays. Do you think? Do, do you wear a lot of plaid? 
Yeah, I like plaid because I like that video about plaid. Is it, is it the, the Catholic schoolgirl thing? Because I wore plaid for eight years, and that's why I don't wear plaid anymore. Because my he used to be a lumberjack. I <laughs> used to and be. That's okay. <laughs> that, wow, bam. We get, we get the chainsaw, Matthew. Show him. Ooh, let me just take it all off. What? Now I'm just now a head. Floating head. Now Here's an floating head. head. Put a tie back on so we can see where your neck starts. Whoa! <laughs> Tied to reach the tide. That's my whole set. I never down. realized how much you loved the plaid. Cliff Rob is here. Let's ask him about plaid. Cliff. Cliff. Somebody say take it all off. Yeah. <laughs> we did. It's Cliff Ross, the body painter. It is all about that. That's right. Yeah. If somebody's taking it all off, I'm here to body. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I forgot to, hold on, I gotta uh, Cliff, please talk about your recent experience with Chris Pillow. I watched that show. I'm gonna fix my set. Well he was the he was the most recent person I body painted. And I saw it and it was delightful, lovely, and wonderful. All those things. See, I, hey, Brian. I, I, I Whoa, laughed, Brian I Aldridge. What's up, guys? Hey man. Hey, Brian Aldridge. It was beautiful. I haven't seen you in ten years. Uh, Brian yeah. Aldridge is here. Cliff, <laughs> did you talk about Chris? Up, I saw him in What? Nine. Did you move? Did you give up the house? Oh, no, this is one of my back rooms. Mazel tub. I'm being married and everything. Tie? Flat, just to get rid of flat, flat for you. How mad you have to on a tie. Wow, so, uh... Well, what would you so like odd to know? Is... Hmm? What would you like to know, Matt? You were asking about. That. Oh, I watched the entire show yesterday. I watched the recording. Oh, well, if you watched the entire thing, what are you asking? I watched the entire thing. It was pretty good. Chris was Chris. I've never seen Chris be well. I have actually seen him get that excited about stuff, but he was pretty excited about that. Oh wow! Wow! Was, that's kind of that was the basically. Well, he was drinking red wine though. So here we go. Terrible time. Uh, so what was it like? I don't know. So did you? Oh, so so Cliff, yes. you are a body painter. Paul is a speed painter. Yes. You're a body painter. Yes, that's right. I, I and, body. Uh, how does this? It almost looks like I'm wearing like a I'm like a mafia or a, or maybe I'm like a uh, Some stripper. Auto -erotic is, is are, are you offering for me to body paint you there? You know, uh, I want to body paint you with the tie on. Just the tie. Speed body paint me though, because I don't have a lot of time. Hey, so so Cliff's here, Brian. So Brian, what what's going on with you? I mean, we haven't heard from you in a while. I know that you were you were part of the canopy team. Probably, maybe you still are. I don't. What's yeah. give us an update on the Aldrich life? You're married now to a woman that plays many instruments, and we witnessed that on this very this conversation's yeah. plus not that long ago, where Byron Ripple shaved it all off. I mean, yeah, I remember that very well. Yeah, no, I got married, so I don't know. Instead of being in here, I've been with my wife. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually, and there's a, there's a kid pop as popping in. Great. So yeah, and uh, actually, Canopy is still going, um, but we uh, will be coming out with a new version here pretty soon. Sweet. Any new features you can talk about? No, not that I can talk. It'll be more social. That's all I can say. Oh, that's that's cool. And uh, what else? Uh, will there be you... an extra feature just to show when I'm hanging out? Because it's I, <laughs> well, that already that. exists, I think. People can stalk I'm you. Sure right you're, I'm sure you're on Matthew's watch list already, so. Yeah, I have pretty much it. <laughs> Wait, a watch list? Every day can I check, Can you check that? Can you check oh, yeah. and make sure, Brian? Yeah, can we have the ability to check other people's watch lists? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brian, Brian can, right, Brian? We'll start, no. We'll start sharing watch lists. That's <laughs> Matthew, could you please say, do I amuse you? Am I funny? Oh, no. I'm not doing Joe Pesci. No, it's please. copyrighted. I can't. Do I amuse you? I can't. Okay. Uh, quickly. Do Pesci or um, cool. Well, it's awesome that you're here. You got the lava lamps going. How are your dogs doing? Are they, they're doing good. They're okay. supposed to be outside, but they're staring at me. So, I hung out with someone from that was in Montana yesterday, and I thought of you because that's not that far from me. Right? Yeah, they're next door. It's like saying I hung out with somebody in Washington or Oregon. It's like I thought of you. Oh, <laughs> Chee oh, <yeah>. oh, he's <laughs> <laughs> No, Montana is more like Idaho than Washington, isn't it? Montana is on the other side of Idaho, uh, so I we know. got Washington one side, Montana on the other. But Washington has more big cities than Idaho in, in Montana. Yes, yeah, so that's right? actually yeah. We're the third largest city in the Northwest, where I am. See, to me, you're all just to the, to the left of me. So. Yeah, we're just that corner up there. Corner of the sky. 
So we are live. I don't know. We have for at least four hundred people, people watching. Um, he's like, "What? <laughs> four hundred people? I can sell some paintings." That's right. I better get on that. Um, so yeah, it's amazing. Look, everyone on here has been. Uh, oh, Bruce Garwright. So Bruce, I need to. So you're gonna be Bruce Garwright. You are my first guest of my new year. How's that sound? If, that, if we do that, <laughs> I, I can't believe I haven't had you as a main guest, but uh, probably. I've I've been on air with you a lot, so yep. but, uh, you'll you'll definitely be the You were part of the poll show. Um, yeah, we we even try to. But you refused, and I understand why. I get we, it. We, we we try to we try to hang out even from the hallway in New York, trying to get a oh. Wi-Fi connection. Oh man, we had to literally go downstairs in this apartment, go all the way down, and we were like three floors up. Stop we just to go down. We, wow, we had to sit, sit in front of the door of the Wi-Fi apartment and try to get a signal. And this nice little family comes along and they're like, they're like, oh, you should use ours. And I'm like, oh, which one is yours? They're like, it's Oiga Volt. And the password is Oiga Volt. And I'm like, oh, all right, nice little family from Israel. You know, so. That's really that sweet. Funny. It's pretty funny. So that's a, the tales of the hurdle. I still have more pictures and videos to put up from that. So I'm only on like part 10 or 11. I'm going to get my one-person hurl videos up immediately. You should. Cliff has uh, has vacated. Yeah, so so I hope you're all not busy on the 12th or 13th because I'm going to get you all to be. I'm going to do 24 hours of hangout conversations as much as I can and get you all back in here to talk about the whole year and, and what's happened and what's changed since the last time we talked, which uh, for Paul, he gets to go paint more people, I guess, right, and sell Faster. Paul's not going to talk to us. For Brian, he got married. Dead air. Dead air. <laughs> You're Shut up. We did it. Nobody wants to talk to me. I'll talk to you. Just... You silenced Matthew. The viewers Robinson. are going up, though. Like Let's do this on the 24 hour one. <laughs> I'll be sleeping that would by, be funny. by 6 in the morning. I'll be with all the Europeans. I'll be sleeping. It'll be like my Everybody just sit there. We'll see how many awkward silences we can create with Matthew Rappaport. <laughs> That's my next show. <laughs> awkward silences with Matthew Rappaport. That'd be a great show. Yeah, that would be. That would I'd be watch too. it. I'd watch so it. So many of them. That sounds impossible. <laughs> how many uncomfortable moments can we create with Matthew Rappaport? I, I can't stand it. I, I, I can't. <laughs> oh, Jane doesn't all. like the show anymore. The show, yeah, that I, show, the ideas just got. You know, I don't like to be quiet. It's really hard for me. She said, "I, I can't stand Whoa, it." Well, that's definitely what she said. Whoa. I can't stand it. There'll be a lot of that at seven in the morning. I can't wait. I get Robert Reddle in here. Yeah, yeah. And we even got the. We even met the guy on the street that has the T-shirt. No, oh, that's true. That was pretty funny. That was funny. <laughs> Good timing. Which I heard on the internet he was the first person to say it. Wow. So they gave him a shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Cliff. We're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna. I want to do a stand-up show, and then people will ask you to sit down, Paul. Uh, <laughs> My jokes are meant for artists only. <laughs> rim shots. Hashtag rim shot. Uh, look at Cliff's face. Why don't we get a picture of that? Hey, Cliff, who are you oh, speaking right now? Yeah, Absolutely. Nobody. <laughs> what? Oh, for my anniversary show, can you speak paint me and make me a better version of me? Because you always said you wanted to redo me. I thought I was the body painter now. I'm going to body paint you on the anniversary show. Good luck with, with trying to figure out how to do we that. We should do that. How about, we, how about everybody switches? That's it. I'm going to body paint Oh, you're going to speed paint me, uh, Paul? Yeah. yeah. How about I body paint you? Ooh. Do it. Hello! Hello. I've got, um, let's see. I, Talk know, about uncomfortable like I, moments. Wait a minute. It's not or like very I comfortable couldn't. moments. It's not like yeah. I couldn't. Hello, professional makeup artist. I can make you blue with Brian, my why are you sweating so much? My best friend makes priests. For $2, I can make you a priest. All right. I've got like five computers in this room, so it's making me sweat. Sorry. Yeah. I usually have a fan in here, but I didn't want to interrupt your show with a woo. Uh, this isn't really a sh This is like the after, Boy, the after the show. Yeah. The after show. The entire body. What a pain. The after man. So, uh, well, I can't. Does it feel like there's a presidential election going on? Not really, right? 
uh, politics section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a great topic. That's, Let's talk that's politics. That's a terrible topic. <laughs> Matthew loves talking politics no, with me. Wow. With the oh. Brad, it's surprising. It's so Brian. funny. I was in a hangout with someone who wanted to talk politics. It was a friend of mine, and I said, you know, you can talk politics. I'm just not really into it. Like, I'm not really into sports. I mean, I vote it. and I learn stuff. It's just not something I really like to talk about a lot. And he went, okay. Then he dove right in and talked about what he was going to talk about anyway, which was fine. I just didn't have a lot to add because, it's, again, I'm not going to be talking a great deal about sports. It's, I am aware of them. I can talk about it. It's just and then not you my never thing. saw him again. <sighs> If you'd to, like, I could talk how about to not treat lipstick, a lady. but I'm not going to now. <laughs> Actually, I, I need could. to learn a lot about makeup, so... <laughs> well, then, we can <laughs> do that in private. That. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you a great deal. Hubba, hubba. All right, I gotta go, guys. I just wanted oh, to jump oh, in because well, I'm. Well, that you're well, alive. Fine, we talk about Brian. makeup, and you want to leave. Yeah, no, my 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 wife's getting home, so oh, we're gonna oh, talk about programming. Yeah. Just wait, wait, before you go, before you go, yes. big thing. Did your wife did your wife hyphenate her name or just take yours? She took my name. Oh, you want to talk about religion? If you look there, <laughs> oh. where are we going? There's, there's her diploma wow. that she okay. got. She just graduated this uh, past March. Wow. Or, oh, no, my nicely lit. Whenever. Oh. Whenever how is your How is your joint music career? Is that still doing do some? Singing? Yeah, actually, I mean it's not a career, but yeah, <laughs> we. Uh, they, I've been asked to sing in a couple weddings and things like that. So she accompanies me, um, and we for a couple groups. It's just more of something people ask me to sing, and so I do. Tell us what your the most. Will fun you song. sing for us on Matthew <laughs> Rapport Ten? No, it's no, I already told you. Anniversary. Sure, he'll never sing I don't me. sing. I don't sing into this mic here. I don't, I don't sing unless oh, – because it doesn't make you sound as good as you do. All right. <clears throat> I thought the new studio hangouts were like – We're not on golden. Studio. Yeah, but Brian doesn't – it's all – it's not stuff you wrote, right? right? You don't have – do you have original songs? You no. Sing. No, does, no, I, I sing – Can you hear the theme from Mission Impossible? <laughs> okay, it's just me. Whoa. Yeah, no, no. I sing Great a lot shot. of. Uh, I, I sing like in college. I sing classical choirs, like a hundred-person choirs, so I can sing, you know, stuff like in musical in kingdom, Italian, German, all kinds of crazy stuff. Or I, I sing in bluegrass group right now as well. So I sing bluegrass. That's group. awesome. I want to hear it now. But it's no, blue, blue, bluegrass is original, right? Maybe. No, no. We sing oh, uh, like covers. old, uh, like bluegrass gospel. What is your Brian, favorite you song to sing at a wedding? Revival. Do you sing the reception of the ceremony or both? Sorry, I don't know why I'm leaning closer to my, my headset. I was <laughs> like, what? Never mind. <laughs> no, wait, Jane, go in with your, your bit. No, it's, it, it, no. Let's it's pass not a bit. Right. It was just a question. New grass revival. <laughs> you guys going to fight now? Mm, no. <laughs> I don't listen don't to fight. a ton of bluegrass. I pretty much will. Okay. My wife loves bluegrass. New grass revival. Is? They're New not grass together revival. anymore, but... Um, Bela Fleck and John Cowan and uh, Sam Bush and some no, it was just them. Uh, early '90s, it was more like bluegrass, but not as um, bluegrass irritating Brazil. to my ear. Yeah. I think John Cowan's one of the best singers in the world, and so I used to go see them all the time. They had some minor hits in the '90s. Nice. I'll yeah, I'll check them out. Um, and right. what was the name of it again? One more time. New, new, gla new, new grass, grass revival. Revival. Garth Brooks had a hit with uh, Colin Baton Rouge. That was their biggest hit before he actually had a hit with it. Okay. Well, I was always pissed for them over that. <laughs> I wish you didn't have to go, Brian. But if you do have to go. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm getting some dinner together, so I'd, I like to eat sometimes. You're tonight. a good husband. I, I can imagine. She works 12 just, hours. I figure I can at least make some dinner, right? Just eat See? on the hangout. That is awesome. Uh, Jane's like, why did I not marry you? <laughs> 19 years later, will you still be doing that, Brian? Yes. <laughs> oh, he's like, yes. She's like, But that's the thing. Is like, it, she'll cook. any. If I say I, I want whatever, she'll make it for me in any yeah, time. Okay, and you've been married how long? Since Months. March 23rd. Yeah, whatever. Wait, can we can we talk about Brian? Is Brian is also a hockey player? We didn't get into that. But they've that. been together for twenty five years. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, we've been together for what two and a half years now. I think. Are you ready for hockey season? Whatever. Yeah, yeah we're okay. actually going to start here probably in a month. So I'm on a break right now. But yeah, I start I start a new ice team. Uh, I'm not here. even supposed to be here. <laughs> 
Yeah. Hey, sorry, so I know you're wrong, but, real, but can you but can you somehow give us give us uh, some hockey hangouts? You can, you, can, you can manage that. We should do like a hockey. live hockey hangout. Yeah, if you put a, you put a camera. It's actually, yeah, what we <laughs> Battle could do. Battle of the start my, my league. I can have Laura take her uh, phone. I don't know if you, you can't do hangouts on air on a cell phone you, yet. Can on you? Android, you can, you yeah, you, you can do it Android. from the Android. Okay, so yeah, she's got an Android. She's got a Droid three, so maybe we could jump yeah. into and she could broadcast. A put live a ice camera hockey game. on a puck. Yeah, you, 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 you can't start yeah. one yet, Brian, but you can join one. Somebody also would have to start it. Yeah, oh, well, they awesome. do have those things you could put on your helmet. I just don't want to smash yeah. up my phone. Hey, Monica. Yeah. Hey, Monica, welcome to an old school Conversations Plus. Everyone's I know. Like, guys. I, got the, it, I got the band back together again. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. We only join when nobody's watching. She's leaving. What do you mean? At least five <laughs> people are watching. That's more than work. <clears throat> no, now there's two because we all joined the Hangout. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, now I really gotta go, so I'll catch you all later. I just all right, tell us. Okay. One more, one more Say hi to Laura. Yes. <laughs> yeah, one more question. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> all right, we'll see, see you later, Brian. <laughs> that was Paul Rustan's invitation to Matthew Rappaport. Thanks, Paul. Paul, you twisted. I like that. <laughs> oh, yes. Mm. Thanks, bodies. Can't wait till I take Dead bodies. <laughs> I'm so going to end up, hey, end up completely covered in lipstick <laughs> if I meet with her privately. Welcome to the post ship, Monica. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. I'll talk to you in a while. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, it has been a while. I was just thinking that. Summer's on the over. That's fine. The Earl. It's all been about us hurling. So. And there are um, four out of six of us who are hurling. Yeah, I never hurl. Sometimes I imagine what it must be like in my mind. Oh, but you get to hurl with your team all the time. <laughs> yeah, I have one person hurls. Nitty hurls. Well, we have to have one of those tomorrow. With yourself? Well, no, I guess it's a two-person hurl. Oh, okay. hurl. One hurl. extra person. Right. Have you ever I met mean, Pearl Lombardo before? No. Oh, she's nice, I think. You met Pearl at a hurl? I'll be uh. meeting Pearl at a hurl. Tomorrow. I'm surprised right? Andy Torres isn't up for there's it. A, there's a song there someplace. Yeah, Rebecca Pearl out of her. Pearl out of her. Yeah, we Rebecca talk Pearl, about it all the time. Pearl Lombardo. Rebecca Pearl was in town. She's either in town this weekend or last weekend. I don't remember. Uh, now she is, or was. Okay. Is. There's a Pearl at the Hurl at the ball. Check. I think she's in town this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Pearl at the Hurl. She just likes something on Facebook. Amazing Ooh. girl. Make that a song. But I just have, have, a small, on that. I have a small window because I have to get back to get the kids from school. I'm checking Rebecca's status right now. Maybe she'll come in here and play us a song. That would song. be nice. I'm a big fan of your new background, Jane. Thank you very much. It is very nice. I, I love it. I give it plus 100. My oldest says, do you tell everyone those are my curtains you put there? It's like, well, no. It, it is so much cooler them. than my backdrop. I need to do a new one. Pretty pleased with it. Yes, it's very nice. You should do caricatures of yourself, Cliff, like an angel and a devil. <laughs> I should have little animated creatures of them. <laughs> Uh, little puppets, little devil, puppets so your kids man. can do like puppet shows. Rebecca yeah. said she just got back. She had a lot of fun. So. Oh, okay. So she's not in Nashville anymore? No longer there, but she was. But you can watch the, oh, if you didn't watch the concert of Rebecca Pearl and Ryan, that's up. Bruce, uh, man, uh, he did that. Check that out. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And of course, Cliff Roth's uh, hang out with Chris that Perillo, was, too. That was a good show in New York. Yeah, it was yeah, awesome. Fun. Rebecca Pearl and Ryan Van Sickle are both talented sons of bitches. Yeah, they're really and they're really great. They they also came to the weekend. They were part of the girls. Yeah. Pretty damn good too. Even I've, I've never heard them sound good. Awesome. Who? Yeah, Ian, Ian Cook. Yeah, yeah. he's good too. Oh the yeah, the guy with Horror, Yeah, he was really good. Cool. He's like Google Plus now. He's more did active now too. He's on it now. Oh, cool. He has a page. Yeah, you can circle him. And uh, he was on it in July, but he did. He just started posting more. <clears> so. Well, let's make him famous. Make him Google Plus famous. Wow, that's cool. And he's got some cool pictures up, too. Yeah, Daniel was in touch with him, for sure. Who was I in touch with? What? Daniel, Daniel. Are you, was in touch with Daniel. So, 
touch with that. Sure. I was. Okay. Uh, so what else is going on? Anyone else have uh, Monica? Has any hangouts? You want to? I know you've been doing some. I you just need grapes of wrath. Oh, you cooked the chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh, I went up to the mountains two days ago. Oh wow! So I was at fourteen thousand feet, and we saw a pika, which is a little tiny mouse-like creature. It was making little squeaking sounds at us, and we recorded it. I thought those were like gypsies in England. Um, they have a. Oh, they use I that guess. word in Australia also. It's like a. It's a. I don't know. You'd have to get an Australian on to explain it to you. Is that the right word, Matthew? Time it is for them. Snatch. The movie Snatch. Brad Pitt. Pikers. Wow. Pikers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I remember that movie where he was like, oh, no, 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 no. It's basically. Pika, a unit of measurement from uh, journalism. Oh, yeah. P I C A. Conversations Plus for Educating the Poor. <laughs> <laughs> but vaguely, because we don't actually know what we're saying. <laughs> we're like, hey, I, I kids, know it was because I had word. a Pika ruler. Look it up. Because I worked we're doing all the wrong pronunciation and everything. Pika, Pika. It's a Pika. Uh, it could be that. <laughs> <laughs> on a bed of rice. Here's some vague, unspecific knowledge. <laughs> How about we make just make stuff up? But he makes it sound so good. <laughs> yeah. So I cooked this chicken, but you see it was still frozen in the middle, and I couldn't get the insides out, so I just cooked it with the insides in, and then I took them out. Wow. That's oh, wow. the story. That's fascinating. No, it's, that's my life. That's my fascinating life. Oh, you made a rainbow cake. Tell us about the experience of making a rainbow cake. Oh, the rainbow cake? cake? The rainbow cake, yes. And, and you can show the pictures because I don't want to have to look. Uh, my daughter turned six, and I made a rainbow cake. I could have painted her body a rainbow, but <laughs> I made a rainbow cake because she loves rainbows. So what I did was I took three cake pans and made the equivalent of two cakes. At this time, Bruce now wants to take a pencil and stick it through his eye. I can tell he's just jab it. <laughs> he's like, rainbow cakes? I gotta go. So, what I did was I just I just divided the batter, and I have um, really good, I was going to say really powerful dyes. Wilton cake gel dyes are really strong dyes, as opposed to those suck-ass things that you drop in. These are the really strong ones. And when I do this, it means really powerful. Like I'm casting a spell, really powerful. Like a cauldron. Yeah. Smoke. And blast. so I need a magic I, eight ball. I actually uh, I looked at a rainbow to get the colors in order and um, made a rainbow cake. And then, as I was talking to our scribbler Ashlyn Nathans and Andrea Evans, I then did the outside in a rainbow as well. So it was inside rainbow and outside rainbow. It was really bright and she was thrilled with it. And here's the funny part. <laughs> funny not so much. So her friend is having a birthday a few days later and I run into the friend's mom. She goes, oh I got so and so a cake. I, she got a cake. And I, she goes, you want to see it? I said, sure I want to see it. And she had this beautiful professionally made elaborate cake and it's like, oh you know, you suck man. It's like don't make my kid cry by showing her that beautiful cake of yours. Oh, that has to go oh, on that note. My, cake my, my, my cake story's done. You don't have to go slit your wrist. Well, none of the cake story. And Spiggy, he's going to go from rainbows. That's my daughter's Jane, talking. do you I, uh, read Cake Rex blog? But fake cake. Do, I what? do you read the Cake Rex blog? No, but should I? Yes, it's hilarious. It's got like all the worst cakes in the world. Oh. From like spelling mishaps. <laughs> to you know, people who are hired at like Safeway or Kroger, and mm -hmm. clearly just like cakes aren't their passion. They just yeah. ended up in the cake business by accident. Yes. And like so, they're taking cake orders over the phone, and they hear the cake order wrong, yeah. and they write it incorrectly. That's funny. Well, I'll have to have yeah. my daughter check that out. She's she, that's like people Walmart. I think cake is another word for gypsy in Japan. And it's also a band. <laughs> Again, I think this time it's more blatantly incorrect knowledge. <laughs> All for the win. All right, well, Tim, well, Cliff has to take off and go to Mars to do his work, sweet work, right? 
Hey, right, Cliff. Good to see you, Cliff. Make some rainbow M&Ms for us. Well. We love you. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. And Bruce Gala <laughs> has to yeah. also take off. Thanks, Bruce, for helping me with the show. And yeah, getting no problem. Questions. It was fun. Good job Good tonight. Awesome. Nice seeing everybody. We'll talk to you soon. And I want to see you in two weeks at Night, some point. Bruce. I'll, I'll, Bruce, if yeah, you could do the 5 a.m. ship when you wake up, we'll talk about that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you soon, guys. See you, Have a good night. Gaba. 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 It's a TV show. You should make like a cool app that that does exit video animations. Right. Like World By the way, the mom and... that showed the beautiful cake, I made her eat the rainbow cake, and she was like, "This is so good." It's like, yeah, I know. Right. I know it tastes good. That's right. I know why my cake tastes good. My cake <laughs> tastes good because I made it. That's I why know. it tastes good. I got the cake swagger. I know. And she said, this is important. You made it. I couldn't make my cake. She's like, okay, you don't have to cry. Don't cry. That's I, why made, I made my point. <laughs> and then you kicked her in the nuts. Yes. Whoa! That was uncalled for. <laughs> Sarah, if you're still watching this video recording that you were at the beginning of, I hope you're enjoying it. All right. You just got, you just got <laughs> two new viewers, didn't you? Yes, yeah, she did. Uh, our viewers have stayed neutral at five. Cliff and Bruce, Bruce are watching now. TC <laughs> was painting a guitar TC, with a chapon where the hand can be used like a knife, but you wouldn't want to cook a chicken on it. Anyone remember that? Anyone? Any, did I just date myself? Uh, maybe. No. Bite me. Anyway, that was the commercial for the game. Was, is there rainbow cake involved in that? Or? No, but he was painting a guitar. For some reason, I thought it was blue, and that's in a rainbow. So, oh, come on. There was a hand, and it said... Um, <laughs> so me and Jay did something called Plus Task Tips. That was kind of like her idea. Yes, and people were messaging me that they were loving it because it was the first time that you and I did a show that was watchable. <laughs> that was it was only five <laughs> minutes long. Zing, bang, pow. Ouch. Five minutes, that's all we need. Uh, so now that there are birthdays here, uh, have you guys wished anybody a happy birthday? Even now there are birthdays here. What? Is yeah. that another tip? I Googled it. No, yeah, now it's on Google.com, you can see it. Not, they're trying to, I think by putting it on Google.com, they're trying to get, trying to merge it more. So, But if you go on to Google.com, you'll see everyone in your circles, I think, that has a birthday. Okay. You circle. Well, mine, as you know, is February, so I don't need to look today. I know oh, mine okay. is not <clears throat> I, mean, like, I haven't even, I don't know where it's at. Google well, Google I did see it, and I did wish several people happy birthday. Me too. Cool. I Big actually deal. did that before today, because I found out by accident um, that it was John Butterell's birthday a couple days ago. So I made him a separate post. And then birthdays somehow came up That's again. <laughs> so... Oh, but, Amber, yeah. people want in. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. And there's chats and hangouts now, too, huh? but it's super confusing to use. You mean yeah, yeah, no, I mean, just chat. private. It's a private message. That's all it is. Yeah. Well, we're going to cover that in Plus Tips. Well, yeah, we will Which cover the like IRC like chat. Covers, doesn't it? Um, can I have something cleared up? How many shows do you currently have? <laughs> uh, no, we only have, listen, Hangout Conversations and Plus Tamer are the only show we do. Well, we do the Plus Tips. This is, this is the after show, right? So technically, the after show would count as another show, I guess. So I have three, yeah, right? And now Plus Tips. No, that's cool. That. I have we're a lot of shows. We want to. So I, I'm not. I probably have more shows than you, and I'm just one person. Oh. And you're two people. So no, I'm I not. The motive by the question. Well, well, plus, well, no, plus, is he no. two people? Or am I I'm, two people? No, I only do I, Plus Tame and Hey Amber with uh with Jane. Amber, with, uh, and the other show is just... It's okay. Hi. I have no life. Amber. I sit Aww. in my chair all day, yeah. and I just run shows. <laughs> Aww, so, that's, a... that's cool. I just, I was just curious, because I don't know what show we're in. <laughs> More no, this shows is Conversation you, Plus. This is the More after shows show. Than you. We're, we're not in the five-minute show. Wow. We're, well, we, go through, we want to go through the competition list. Is that what you're trying to do? Paul Let's done. do it. <laughs> what? All right. <laughs> I'll leave go. My first show is conversations. What's your first show? Me? I'm going to do a mini show right now. <laughs> oh, you did a mini show within a show. Mini show. This show mini is show. called... Which is People of Small Stars. I, that would be yeah. interesting. There are no small parts, just small actors. 
this one. Okay, I've told this story before, and I'm going to tell it again because uh, I don't think you've heard it. Monica. Before you tell it, can we properly introduce Amber? Hey, Amber Van Pool, welcome. Are you mobile? Amber. Hi, Amber. Hi. Amber. Thank you. And she's mobile and frozen. All right, tell that story. Okay, <laughs> I have a very good friend. I've known a long, long time. It's like the best freeze ever. Is it? Sorry. And if he was over <laughs> gotcha. at the house one day, and he was looking at, uh, you know, like a little desk. My children said a little desk, and he said, you know, this reminds me of my aunt's house. And I said, why would that little desk remind you of your aunt's house? And he said, hello, Elizabeth. He said, he didn't say sorry. And he said, because my aunt is a little person. I said, oh, okay. And he goes, actually, all three of them are. And I said, okay, why hasn't that come up in the past 50 years? You know, not that you have to tell me this, the height of all of your relatives, but that's kind of unusual that your three aunts are all little people. Wouldn't that have come up in 15 years? Wouldn't it? Am I wrong? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? it Anyone? It would, it Anyone? Come Could up I get up. some backup on it this? Would've, it would have come up. I with you. <laughs> right. That's all. That's all I wanted to know. I was just, and he said, I just thought you knew. I said, how would I know unless you happen to say, by the way, whenever right. I go to see my aunts who all live together in a little hobbit-sized house with a little furniture because they all three live together and all their furniture was small because all three women live together. And he said it was magical for him when he was a child because everything was to size for him. Would that not have come up? Wow. That's I mean, all. I, I try and prepare people all the time. You know, like for... when I went out with that guy and he said, hey, did you know this comes off and pulled off his arms and legs? It's like, no, I didn't know those came off. <laughs> it's oh, like, yeah, I remember that story. How do you prepare someone for that? How do you prepare yeah. for no arms or legs? Yeah. You, you don't. Like you my you using a power off? wheelchair, I try and prepare people. You know, like, you know, you got to prepare people for something out of the normal. So that's an interesting thing with the internet, right? That there's so many, you see people in this, these boxes and then you see pictures or not and then they have, you don't know what, what's going on with them, their whole history. I mean, it's, you never know what, to, what you're going to get. So everyone has their own things going on. And, and uh, you know, there's, it's not 3D until it's 3D, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, we lost Amber. That's true. Hey, Elizabeth's here. Welcome. Thanks hey, for thanks. joining us. How Sorry. are you? Nice Good. to meet you. Elizabeth. Hey. Is it Elizabeth and never Liz or Beth? Um, or Elizabeth? I, I prefer Elizabeth, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Which is a lovely name. Oh, thank you. It's a super name. Where are you from? Um, from right outside of Philadelphia. Nothing to write home about. And do they have the best cheesesteak sandwiches? I, I'm curious. Um, yeah, they do. Um, I, I don't, um, choose to eat them, but, um... Should you choose to, you would have those. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Every time I go there, I have at least three. Yeah, yeah nice. One. Three. One is many. more than enough. Well, Paul is... He can eat his cheese things. There are two, there are two places, um... Pats and Jim's. Pats and Jim's, and they, they you know, vie for loyalty for, you know, um, and they're just like, uh, diagonally across the street from each other. So is there like a third one too? That would be like Bob's, the original. Pat, Bob? No, there's like, I thought there was another one besides Pat's and Jibs that people heard. Um, there is a third contender, but it's really between there. It's the, the really big business is between two. And then I they, want to do a lot of people go to one. I call you said you have three. Do they go to one and go across the street and then eat at another if they're just? Um, no, I, I, I think I think it's I think it's I think it's pretty intense. It's either like you're really with one or the other, and not and not jockeying between the two. Are you raised up to like love one? Is it, is it like a religious thing? It's like <laughs> like a, a Judeo-Christian division. I don't really division. know. Like uh, you I um, only go to paths. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not um, a Philadelphia native, so I'm I fascinated now. <laughs> um, I can't really quite wrap my brain around the whole uh, around the whole thing, but um, it's it is um, truly a um, a Philadelphia cultural thing. Yeah, I think you should investigate. Yes. and get back to us. You and need find to out if it's really that. Are they really that out. different? 
you need to go with yeah, at least take video if not on air. Go to, to each one. And I mean, and in these places stay open until yeah, uh, late, later part. later than most bars. I mean, I mean oh. they um because it's just um popular. Yeah. They're well, college students, sure. Yeah. Um. Or for when bars let out, yeah. you know, then it's you know open for to go get something to eat, and and um, you know you just order you know at this big um, you know just it's not a food truck but it's well it seems like a huge one, and so you just order at the front and then there's seating outside, but usually you just take it with. It with you, um, so. Um, and the big question too is whether you get the real cheese or the cheese whiz. Right. Uh, it. It w cheese I mean, whiz. I'm sure. I'm sure there have been lots of documentaries done about it. I, I would think about um, preference. Um, so, but um, but I could cer I could certainly do some research for you and get back to you. Be our reporter on the street. Yeah. Okay. Really, I, uh, Paul? Did you? Did Paul bring the watermelons? <laughs> I car I, you carried the watermelon? I thought that was Jennifer Gray. That's right. right. That's the line. I carried the watermelon. Got the watermelon. Oh, that's awesome. How can you oh, do that? Oh, no, he tried to do, he tried to do the uh, Jennifer Gray line, and he screwed it up. <laughs> How do you do that? It's go to apps, and you can find the uh, live meet. You should be able to see it in the PC. It's yeah, there's one top. food that's native to uh, the Rocky Mountains. Um, that's the only one I can think of. Watermelon? The Rocky Mountain Oyster. Oh, oh yeah. yes, the Mountain Oyster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Jane, yeah, oh, Jane yeah. has heard of it, judging from her reaction. Is that part of it? I have not a story it. before bed and an eight ball. Yeah. Mountain just, Oysters. Yeah, and the it's, Mountain Oyster uh, festivals. What's a Mountain Oyster? Uh, um, pig testicles? <laughs> no, not pig. Oh, not um, pig there. Well, around here, a oh, bull testicle. Okay. Yeah, testicle. It's fried. Oh, here, it's fried. Bull testicle. That changes testicle. everything. Yeah. I hear they're <laughs> you can only get it at a bar. I haven't tried it, um, but I've heard stories, and you can only get it at a bar here that's next to <laughs> the radioactive, like, flats called Rocky Flats, where they used to, like, have the nuclear plant. So there's a hazard involved in actually obtaining them as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why you haven't had it then. Radioactive yeah. bull balls. <laughs> be that cool. is what I love about the conversation that. plus is that we started with Sarah Hill and Bruce and it was all like, <laughs> oh, and now we're talking about watermelons and cool. I wanted to boost your ratings, Matthew. <laughs> My so viewer, I decided I would viewer. dump fuel on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring it in. It's, it's, it's late at night. I gained one viewer for that. Awesome. Heather Faye is Welcome watching, viewer. by the way. She is in bed, though, so she will not be joining us. Oh. <laughs> uh, I wanted to hear, don't cry, damn it. Tell her that that's right. not very rock and rollish. Yeah, rock and roll, man. You heard your pulse of that. <laughs> All right. I don't want to leave you, but I have to. Oh, uh, you're going to leave now, too? Well, hey, hey. Okay, first of all. It's so beautiful behind you. Well, you're so beautiful, and then you're <laughs> what's behind you. Everybody thinks you're, you're beautiful, Jane. You're beautiful, see? I, I haven't heard it enough today, but thank oh, you. Oh, whatever. No, uh, yeah, no my, but my um, you're, uh, the screen, uh, you're, um, like you're, the trifold screen behind you. With the curtain, yeah. And, and, the, and that red, or the... I don't know. Come sometimes. It's actually, fuchsia, but it, it, I, I was going to say sometimes. Red, yeah. sometimes, yeah. sometimes colors are skewed on on the monitors, but um, but yeah, I was going to say kind it of. It's like a bordello in New Orleans, doesn't it? Kind of I like. Assume. It actually <laughs> is though, but you're not okay. in you're in Tennessee. Yeah, I haven't been <laughs> like, to one, um, but I'm guessing. It's like it's your like your frame is so stunning. What I do, I tell people how to get framed. So Sarah Hill said you're beautiful. We said it. Monica, Elizabeth, how many people need to say it? Beautiful. Uh, it, I should set up a PayPal account for that. Pay to say it? Oh, you're gonna pay people to say it? No, no. I don't they, know. I, they have to I pay to say it to her. <laughs> All right, I'll Jennifer. Paul, I get to talk to you privately about 
And they yep. step, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, and I can see my kit from here. lipstick all kit. over the body. <laughs> Paul, have you ever used lipstick in your body painting? No. Experience? Not even once? Except on my wife. Oh. The kit is all zebra. Do <laughs> so you want to get involved? Well, should we go there since you went there? Or should we not? No. All right, so don't ever do that again on my show. What? I'm I, I carried the watermelon. Yeah, I know you did. And so I does that mean that you had sex with Patrick Swayze? Or is that another... <laughs> Okay, they they didn't do that in the movie. No, no, they, they were just acting. The they yeah, they're not Shia LaBeouf who really does it. They, they were just movie. acting. Do you see Can that I Shia mean? Shia LaBeouf is really gonna have sex in the Disney movie with a watermelon? What? With a watermelon named some a girl. I don't know. Name. But no, I do have to go because okay. um, I have <clears> hardly spoken to my spouse today because. Oh, is there no, is there no, a name? is there is there a shorter <laughs> word for that? Not, not quite sure where the conversation is gone. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. I just have to talk to him. And I got you with the hands up. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, Paul, can I get I carry yeah. the little nose face? Do a Jennifer Grey nose face. Mm -hmm. Her old nose. Great. I don't know how to. Do, know how to right. You did it. Right. That was beautiful. This has been great fun. And uh, right, I'd like to apologize to you, Elizabeth, for having you walk into a hangout and being grilled about a city in which you don't live, about <laughs> a place that you don't actually know She's about. She's not so... <laughs> because That's totally you know, great, though. Oh, oh no. what? Then, you don't live there? Oh. I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions about it. Have you gone to the Rocky statue? <laughs> well, it's right at the at the bottom of the steps of the art museum, so yeah, yeah it's by default. I've been up and down the exorcist steps. That's not oh, what that? I thought you were going to say, but thanks for sharing. <laughs> what did you think she was going to say? I don't know. Just the you know. You, you know. trumped me. In, uh, you know, in, um, well, they're not in D.C., they're in Georgetown. Georgetown? Uh, yeah, even I don't remember. Oh, yeah, well, they're outside D.C. Yeah. yeah. Well, can, Jane Ellen, yeah. thanks for coming. It was good yeah, to see you. I'm actually going to hang out now, but... Uh, <laughs> I'll see you later. That's Jane Allen watching. Oh, what well, broad-minded? I hope it was good. It was Enjoy good. the mountain oysters. Oh, okay. Next week, broad-minded. Jane Allen Thursdays. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> so Mondays. You're beautiful. Good. See you. All right. Uh, rage quick. <laughs> she rage quick. Yeah, we just lost two viewers. Yeah, Jane. Who's gonna um? Who's gonna be the last one standing? Just hang out. The last one standing. How? Oh, how can I see it, Elizabeth? Every time you add an app, it says so and so added an app. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and I'm psychic too. So, um, I didn't look at anybody, people watching, commenting. I wish the comment tracker was easier than it is. But Heather Faye is still watching. Heather Faye, you have any questions for this audience? You should question us. For sure. I ask us questions. Uh, did you? So did it? So Paul, you saw some of the Sarah Hill. Monica, did you get to catch any of the Sarah Hill earlier? I did. Cool. I was cool. Let's get you some yeah, it's good. And actually, I have a um, idea for you some other time, or maybe now. I don't know. <laughs> I see that um, your husband, I think, is now in the picture. Yeah, my fiance. A oh, fiance. I like to call your husband that way. It's her, her fine Well, age. yeah, <laughs> you know, we're engaged. I don't um, like to use the French words, so I say husband. <laughs> 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 Well, we, you know, we're not married, so we're engaged. <laughs> You're married in my eyes. Her mountain well, monster. Well, we haven't actually I gotten now married. Pronounce so you man and wife and no, eyes you cannot forcibly marry anyone who doesn't oh, is that want to get the married. Law? Oh, my bad. Yep, it is. That sounds like. The are you Paul? Are you Aiken now, or Ryan, or whatever his name we is? Can, so um, you can. Did they you say can what legally edit. dissolve any forcible marriage. Let's edit, edit some of this out, right? But, but, no, you can. No. You can edit the words to. It. I am married. <laughs> no, you can't. Yeah, like, <laughs> I can make a short video. I hereby <laughs> declare. <laughs> declare I am not. You can't married. abuse me and hang out on here, man. Don't do it. So, what, are you giving me your idea now? What is this? No, this is this is a game called Blank White Cards. It's an improv game, and I thought it might fit your. If it doesn't, that's cool. Like, I want but I thought it might fit your after-show format sometimes. Um, if the conversation ever, you know, like if you ever Sucks. need <laughs> something fun, <laughs> like we used to play this all the time, like at camp and with friends. Like it's just a bunch of funny, weird prompts for people to answer. Like, Let's do it. 
it's just it's it's like yeah. the whose line is it anyway game where I, I need more of those we did one of, we did one where everyone drew something but that didn't work out did that work ever no, that was else? awesome that was like one of the best shows and you lost it remember I didn't lose it you Google you lost it <laughs> Anyway. I don't think I saw that play one. Now. Let's play your game. We'll do the, we can do the draw thing in a second, but let's play Monica's game. That was can golden. I do one round of drawing first? Or everyone's like, okay. you, need, you need something to write with and draw? And you need like, to do okay. a piece of paper? This is uh, like a... Well, you don't have to draw. These are just prompts that I've written on cards. Okay, we'll like, play your game. I'll okay. read a couple of them so you get the idea. Um, and then you can write your own. Like, um, and maybe if we could get a developer to help us write it into uh, an app that we could plug in. Well, Brian cool. Algers was here earlier. He's probably you done know, eating now. Just reinvite uh, him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, is that how it works, <laughs> We can reinvite him. I don't That'd know if you know how it works, but once you say goodbye, you you goodbye. You <laughs> like, we reinvite everybody. We invite Bruce Garber and Sarah Hill. Sarah <laughs> sure will come back. Sarah's probably like... like They're all going to come in. Like, what do you want? want? I, I thought Bruce was here. Who, what? I thought Bruce was here. They were, yeah, but we're saying bring them all back. That's the he only was, reason that I came. But he didn't bring anyone. Because of GABA? Else. Yeah. You, know, you need to fill a GABA. Who doesn't need a GABA fill? GABA has a family. I'm just, ki I'm just kidding. I like, I like my GABA filled. I take out the GABA every Monday. <laughs> I, know you spend a lot of, I know you spend a lot of time with GABA. <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot of time. No, actually, just during the hurl. Uh, but he's cool, good people. All right, Monica, what's give us the when was the last hurl actually? Oh, uh, New York City hurl part two was two weeks, two, one, two, three. Wow, three weeks ago. Okay. When was the last hurl ever? Oh, uh, the last hurl ever. That was like today, probably in some city. <laughs> Somebody was having coffee with someone. That... So then we talked about this. Does hurl? Does it no longer become hurling if you've done it a million times? Uh, it depends. Like if it's a small. I mean, if it's a big event, could be a bit. Will be will be the well hurl for the big, a big weekend or big event. But if you actually just, you know, I'm hurling with so and so today, and then hurl with them multiple times, no one hurl or. Um, I don't know, and this might seem like a dumb question, but how does everybody find all the hurls? Is it just oh, on the page hurl? Pages, but yeah, that's another thing too. You're never gonna be able to find all the hurls if people have personal hurls and. And all that stuff. No, no, I mean like the big hurls or. Um, I try to put all the ones I find out about on the page for my town, but you know, everybody, not everybody's forums or circles or. That would be so. Just like we would love to see hangouts on air, like them put up a better way to find all that stuff. It'd be better for them to put a better way to find hurls, business pages. I mean, you name it, search shared circles, all that stuff. I mean, I, I put up pages, but that only goes so far. Yeah, it looks like the last time the page hurl was active was really I just said your July. Style. Oh, that's not my page. The one with the periods is my page. The one with mm -hmm. the what? The other one that you referred, I worked on until I just until it turned out that that one was not really uh, spit it out. Conflict of interest. That was. Spit it out. Spit okay. Huh. I'm in a, I'm in a trolling mood tonight. It seems like people just hear about them from other people. But hurls are for everyone. Like the point of the hurl page. I mean, all the stuff gets to be worked. I mean, sure, it's hard to be updated, but uh, the best hurls are the ones that nobody knows about. <laughs> oh, and the DC they hurls? require secret passwords that you get the day <laughs> of, one hour before the event. You get a secret when it, password. Paul, aren't you hurling with your wife later, or all the time hurling with her right time. now? Right now, how does it feel to hurl with your wife? Good. <laughs> you need to ask. He's like, I don't know. Not sure. <laughs> how does it feel? Uh oh. So, Monica, we're playing a game. Uh, you're going to give us a suggestion, and we will do something, right? Sure. Um, this game so is a game just... you made up, right? We don't have to worry about copyright issues and whatever. Right? Oh, yeah. It, this game is. Probably called by a lot of names. I clicked some sort of box. Elizabeth clicked a box, okay. Do you I love achievement unlocked? I had to check off some box. 
for go from Google to to join to join the Oh yeah, that's the on air thing. Yeah, exactly. To, to join a live broadcast. I have a feeling Jane would really love this game and I feel kinda disappointed she's not here. Um, we could be good at this game. Why don't you invite her? <laughs> if only Jane would be on this show at some point. Well, I guess she could do this next time she's on. But, like, for example, you have to do challenges like give a political stump speech on behalf of a nearby inanimate object. And wow, you hard. get 100 points for each person you convince to vote for the object. That sounds or difficult. You can yeah. be a drummer for Spinal Tap. Do a 20 second drum solo until you spontaneously combust. Like, Oh, they're just silly challenges, and you go down, <laughs> and you can choose to do it or pass. Well, when somebody, if somebody, if, yeah, it's more fun to read. If somebody does a drum solo on here, I'm guessing our four viewers will turn to zero because they'll be like, ah! Well, you could, like I'm saying, you could do this in private hangout, or you could do it on air. Well, I never I'm told you what I to. An idea for an but I used to be a drummer for Spinal Tap. That I know. That's where I died. Good. But that's cool. It's just, so is there, like is there an one? Improv so, game. so Monica, can you say one and, and demonstrate one? <laughs> sure. Like right. this is a challenge I could play. Like, say where is the bathroom in as many languages as you can, <laughs> real or made up. Oh, so, made like, up. you that's just go fair. through and. What are you talking about? That's, that's the best it's part a creativity it. challenge. Nice. And it doesn't matter, like whether you. You know, like it's. <laughs> That's what. <you're> <laughs> See, you just did it. I just I like gave up an entire culture. Thanks. I like. The, I like the um the political quote um. Um, or act like a taco for two minutes. <laughs> no, that's that's not weighted. What? Um, you are Bob Dylan. Make up a folk song based on the people in the room's personalities or oh, describe them. Oh, you can totally them. do that, Matthew. That's all you, man. Two thousand points for you. Was a pop. He bought it, baby. I went to the kitchen. We round. He has a new album out. That was plus two thousand right there. He has yeah, I, I tried not to sing the he song, a recognizable song, but I stopped. He has a new album out, by the way. Is it his his his, his, his Hanukkah album? Because I know he's a Christmas album. No, 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 brand new. It's called Tempest. Oh, so it's based really? on Shakespeare. Huh? Is it is it based on Shakespeare? Loosely. Oh, is it really? I just totally made wow. Yeah. <laughs> but so anyway, he, sorry. To I'll be or not to be. be. Oh, wow, that is horrible. Invent a dance that could have been in vogue in the 1980s. I mean, the vogue, the vogue itself has that. No, <laughs> no. A new one. What had vogue? A new vogue. Diagonal vogue. Boy, I'm not creative <laughs> tonight at all. Diagonal vogue. Oh my gosh, I'm going to take like super aid film of you like vogue. <laughs> we need screenshots. We Come need on. Movie camera. Wait, I got to shave me. Hold on. Come on. No, I have a good Super 8 app on my phone, and and I could take it of Matthew Voguing. <laughs> you do that too well, Matthew. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, now you're done. Sucks. How long do I need to vogue for until my hand? You completed it. Twelve thousand points. Twelve thousand wow. points and a trip to. Fourteen thousand points clear. And the game is a foot Trebek. <laughs> um, this one is for Paul. Sing the Star Spangled Banner in Pig Latin. Wait, but that's copyrighted. You can always pass. No, it's not copyrighted. Star that Spangled was... Banner? Star Spangled Ooh, Banner is from the worse. 1800s. You're saying that we can, I can sing the Star Spangled Banner in here and not get shut down? Yeah, wait, it's from the 1800s. Are you sure? Do you swear? What about us? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait! You have to vogue at the same time. I'm in a Wikipedia, <laughs> but I am oh, positive. Can I get shut down for singing the song? I think it's copyrighted, and 
probably. <laughs> that's going to screw me. Sarah Hill was on the show, and now she's wondering why she ever joined it. I'm just kidding. It, but it has to be me. a pig. Oh, pig Latin. Pig Latin 2? Yeah. Oh, come with on. Mount, I, with mountain awesome. oysters in your mouth. Wow. <laughs> Pick a ladder, you have to like change, you have to go like OA, bang a, bang a, bang a. I did enough. It was I written in 1814. That was the year I was born, sweet. <laughs> wow. I had a lot of work done. A lot of work. You are going on 198, sir. Your math is astounding. Wait, Thank it's you. Her. Wait, 1814. Oh, you're right. That's why did I even think about it? You're right. That is astounding math. I can't wait to meet B200 in two years. Well, what will you buy me for my 200th birthday? <laughs> well, was was, and it was set to the tune of a popular British song written by John Stafford Smith. You're saying that our national anthem is British influence? Oh, Those everything <laughs> we copied from the British. <laughs> Even the BBC shows is ridiculous. That's We're, we're absolutely British. fabulous over here. Fab. Yes, we are, Patsy. Whoa. Um, I have 36 notifications of I don't know what they want from me. They're probably telling us how fabulous they, we are. They're Absolutely. probably all warnings for seeing the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> exactly. They're like, it is copyrighted <laughs> wrong. Wrong <laughs> entry. You Your account that? will be activated in T minus <laughs> three. Oh. Notification two. No, notification one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's give a shout out. People are watching. Jane was here. John Michelle, who we curled with. Mary Thomas, Michael Carvel, Sudhir Kumar Ja. That's <clears> one name. <throat> Gordon McCormick, Joe Giardino is cool. And uh, Cliffy Roth, Longfellow Cliff Roth. Thank you for watching. So before we move to the next one, have you guys subscribed to anybody? Any circles? Or have you bypassed them? No. No? Okay. I don't want the notifications. But um, it would be cool. It would be cool to subscribe. My best people circle. Subscribe and to not topics. Not that any of you are yeah, better than like others. Filter, like filter but words. my friends that rarely post, I really want to see their stuff. Or subscribe to hashtags. That'd be cool. And the only reason why, even though you get a lot of notifications, do you not find yourselves ever going to someone's profile to check their stuff out? Yeah, always. Got to do that. This gets all the I have to. Right? Well, I have to. Well, so this way you don't, but then you just get more notifications. Well, it's like if I subscribe to you, Matthew, I'd, my email would always be full. It would be, yeah. But not just so, me. So there I are can't. people like, but there are people that post that would less be than me. So annoying. <laughs> you no, know, you can change it so it doesn't get an email. It just goes to your notifications. <laughs> That's different. Your notification number. That doesn't mean anything. It's just a number. Hey, Monica's gonna give us another one. Here we go. This is really a, a good one, but really kind of complicated. But All I right, think Elizabeth, it's also Elizabeth, good, as, it. especially if you're hungry. It, this one's called Moi. You must stuff your mouth with whatever foodstuffs are available and then recite the Pledge of Allegiance with your hand held over <laughs> your bum. That's Elizabeth, because I know Elizabeth uh, enjoys food. So Pledge of Allegiance, copyrighted. Phil is it? Oh, is it copyrighted? Oh, oysters. No. Pledge of Allegiance is not <laughs> copyrighted. What's wrong it's all with you? Copyrighted. <laughs> it's shed, I got shut down from the Halloween hangout we did in October because I read some old China doll story. I read it on Wikipedia that it's copyrighted. It was right after um, chalk being the term for gypsy in Russia. The Pledge of <laughs> Paul, you Hang are on. so full of it. Even your body paint stinks. You don't, don't look it up, Monica. I'm just joking. No, it's not <laughs> copywritten. What is However, it with you? Know. Paul and Monica have the purple. Going. Just with <laughs> the word God was inserted into the Pledge of Allegiance in the 1950s. God but was prior inserted. To that, I don't think I would have ever heard so that. So that's copywritten. So just do the non-God version. Yeah. God is not copywritten. <laughs> However, <laughs> the concept. Except you can't write God word. down. <laughs> is, the, is the Bible copywritten? The Bible. <laughs> Which version? Well, different versions of the Bible are copywritten. You can the, take the version of the Bible. The comic book edited. version. The comic book version would probably is probably awesome, like copywritten. And then, Cartoon. yeah, you could copyright your own version. They're cartoonish. So yes, you can rewrite your own religion. 
Don't do that, and then, kids. And then you could lose your religion, too. So did you guys see Bill Nye's video where he was talking about creationism? Or how it's silly, basically? Yep. Should it won't no. exist in the future? I have to check that out. It's interesting. Scientifically, it doesn't make sense. He was on Coast to Coast last night. How was that? It was awesome. What is, wait, what is Coast to Coast? Um, it's an AM radio show. Yep. They talk about a lot of stuff on there. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do too? So you guys both listen to Coast to Coast? That's cool. Yeah. That kind of ties into my next card. It doesn't Perform a fake palm reading on the person to your right. <laughs> Plus 2,000 points for every mystic power you invoke. 10,000 points That's for every not, interpretation right. you make. Paul, you have to give me the psychic reading. You know you want to. Do you're it, to Paul. My, you're, you're to my left. Not, not to everybody else. <laughs> give me a psychic reading. You have many children in your future. Many, many children. You have 35 children now, but you will finish your life with 48 children. Oh, you're bad at this. <laughs> you only know of two of them. <laughs> You are one of them, Paul. And Michael Morata is the Oh, one. no! He's not even <laughs> come from my... Well, I don't even know what to use on the air. All right. come from Matthew, that. Matthew, you don't have many lines on your hands. I oh, don't your say. Hands. Is that good or bad? I don't, I don't know what to make of that. I foresee oh, Chinese yes. food in your future. I just it had looks Chinese like... Food. I had Chinese food tonight. Oh my god. I'm it reverse did. psychic. I see reverse that you have reverse psychic. At least I can see into your past. Oh god. <laughs> You've gone swimming before. Hey, this girl's watching. Go buy her album. What? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. The palm reading one is cool. Yeah. Thank you. Every time we do this, I want to have that one. <laughs> I want to request. I want to request. Oh, Heather Face says she loves me. Cause why? Cause I just went like this. Buy my album. <laughs> Buy my album. <laughs> All right, everyone. So this one is for Heather Elizabeth. Faye, join us. Pick a random person's jewelry and join appraise us. it, a la Antiques Roadshow. You get. Half a point for every unnecessary loquacious adjective. <laughs> and I would suggest you do my necklace since it's very visible. But okay. you, if any of the guys have jewelry, you could do that Let too. Let me see what loquacious means first. <laughs> May I have a second look? <laughs> what was What'd the task? You say? Uh -huh. say it again. May I have a second look? Sure. Um, she has to pick a person's jewelry and appraise it a la Antiques Roadshow style. I want Elizabeth like, to appraise your, your heart. Say I found this in my attic. How many points extra for, for loquacious talk? Um, it wow. says only half a point. Half but I think point. we should up that to a thousand and a yeah, half points. Yeah, definitely. That it's only necklace, likes big numbers. That necklace is very Matthew rappaport -y. Wow, that sucked. So, Elizabeth, I found this in my here attic, okay. and my grandmother owned it way back uh, in the day, and I wondered what it might be worth. Wait, I, you're lying. You found that in a storage locker, didn't you? Oh, yeah. We could do it like Storage Wars <laughs> style, too. If you don't know Antiques Roadshow, we can do it like Storage Wars. I'm going to get that appraised. That's so we cool. just pried apart the storage locker, and we found this in the middle of the storage locker. It was attached to the back of an old painting. Now, I don't know anything about hearts, is there, but I know, is a guy a that knows a guy, that knows a guy about hearts, and I'm going to go ask him what he thinks of that. Does it well, open yeah. up? Yeah. What do you, well, it does. I it's see worth twice as much if it opens up. Whoa. And if there's a naked lady inside, it's worth three times as much. Oh, this one's sans naked lady. <laughs> Whoa. Then it's it could be a blacklight One image. One million I dollars. I see Have you positioned it under a blacklight? I see that it's 14 karat gold. And it's yellow. Um, <laughs> and and uh, a true metal and not mixed with anything else. So the value is very good. Um, the weight is not that 
is is not in your favor because it's not solid um, because because of the locket. Uh, however, I'm not going to be able to offer you the price that you're asking for because it is worth too much to you in your heart. Oh. Um. I'll give you five bucks for it. <laughs> <laughs> so and so <laughs> the, the loquaciousness, heartlessness, purple shirted speed painting no, body. That wasn't loquacious. I'm at so all. glad I picked that storage locker. Oh, oh right? I am so glad that Barry means, picked it. Matthew Rappaport. You're loquacious. You're loquacious. You are. That was look such a loquacious <laughs> you episode up. in the show. <laughs> 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 Lock me. Daniel Fontaine might come in so we can replace the gaba that we lost. Maybe. Sweet. Come on, Daniel. Daniel. Come on down. He he can do our next challenge. I got one picked out just for you, Daniel. Where are you, Mr. Fontaine? Instead of like Garber. Now Matthew. Oh, there he is! Some of the Fontaine Master, he's here! <laughs> Mr. Fontaine. <laughs> and now our viewer count is going to skyrocket. I've been drinking water. Like H2O. <laughs> like now the and now our viewer count is going to drop. <laughs> our viewer count is going down, down, down. So gracious. <laughs> Lock La Quisha, what? There She's missing it. So, Daniel, we got a challenge. Monica's going to challenge you with something special. Yeah. And the you... password is. Oh, 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 good. You need to. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is Daniel Fontaine. How are you, Mr. Fontaine? It's been three weeks. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Always. Do you know what we're doing, by the way, Daniel? Doesn't yeah, matter. I, just give I, it to him. Yeah, I've been watching. Okay. <laughs> so he's one of our six. He Name the see, seven dwarves the and the seven continents in alternating order. Oh, man. Wait, how, much you, did you, how much water did you drink tonight, Daniel? <laughs> wait, you've wait, been wait. Watching, you've been watching? Continents? Continents. Yep. Okay. Wait, you've been just watching? Puerto Rico. I no, don't mess him up. Wait, does he start with the one dwarves? The one you had. With, no. alpha, is that the alpha little order? Well, he's thinking. Oh, you go, Paul. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> Wait, give it to say If you're it again. actually going to help him out, then help him out, but don't mess him up. So it's on me. Wait, yeah. so he has to name the dwarves and the continents in alternating order? Yep. In any order, they'd be alphabetical? In, in any order. order. I, I'm not going to do it. Sleepy, okay, you're okay. right. Keep going. Now go to oh, That's a tough Sleepy. one. Uh, Australia. Okay. Grumpy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, continents, right? I mean, come on. Yeah, we're living on one. No, no I only know one. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see the continent. <laughs> hey, Dale's so playing this up. <laughs> red dragon, red dragon. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm really dumb. I, I do a pretty good job, but uh-oh. Hold on for a second. He's Googling it. <laughs> oh, we just got this. Droopy. What is? What was that? Did he just troll us? Slippy. No, no, no. Droopy, no, no. Droopy isn't a dwarf. I, I, I got the. Slippy. I got the, no, 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 no. I, I, I got the. I got the. I'm being. Uh, Slippy. Wisconsin. My, my dwarf. <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> Wisconsin right. is a great continent. I visited Wisconsin. Once. I wouldn't say it's great. Hey, they have cheese Asia? and ice cream and cheese. cheese. Ice cream. But I'm a Bears fan. Wait, did you say Asia? Asia. Wow, Asia Minor. All right. Doc. Doc. All right, isn't Doc? For those of you watching, yep. Doc like, is a dwarf. 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 Correct. Uh, Sarah, if you're still watching, I love you. Um, <laughs> They're going to hang out with you again. Another <laughs> I, I have a feeling I'm going to get this one wrong. No. I think you got it, man. You're like you should probably the there's choose the continent that has all the pretty people. Uh, he's like, which one is that? Wisconsin. No, no, I'm just I'm struggling here. All right, oh. so there's a continent that has universal health care. You should choose that continent. Uh, he said that one, Paul. I wasn't paying attention. I was getting like I was getting reprimanded. Um, I'm sorry. Do you need to go get more reprimanded? No, no, no. I should go get a beer. 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> Spit him out if he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super fast. Like, oh, no, uh, he'll speak. He'll speak. Yeah, like in, oh, he's going to get the, the juice. In like 15 seconds. He'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to make up some more. Um, Shorty. Race. Bubba. Well, Monica brought us an, an awesome game. I like Schmitty. this. Game. Paul is very creative when coming up with answers. Oh, what are we drinking? Water. It'd be cool Water. to rewrite Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I should see if their names. They won't come in now. Let's see, Snow White. Snow White, Liza Sperling. I will. Snow White and Huntsman. That's close. Why doesn't Chi Chi want to come in here at once? Because he's been watching for the last ten minutes. Oh, those are, he's like five or three. <laughs> four of the people. Yeah, why all, wouldn't all anyone people. want to come in? I'll invite my Googler circle. They'll all show up. Every time you invite someone, the viewer count goes up and then it goes down. <laughs> Let me invite Conan O'Brien. He'll come in here. Okay. Yeah, invite Conan and Obama. <laughs> well, no, Obama's a little busy. I feel Sam bad if he came. And uh, well, are he we was picking? on Reddit the other day. Those are two good choices right there. You should drink both, but one start with the Sam. We mix spend them. time on Reddit. Why not? Mix them. Hold on. Mix them, Daniel. If you're wondering the answer to the question, it's coming up after Fontaine has a swing. Okay. After oh, this yeah, commercial break. Beer with beer. Oh my God, he's wearing a circle shirt. <clears throat> uh, All right. All right. Take, take so, a what spin. was I on? A dwarf or a continent? You were, it's time for you to name a continent. Continent. I think you finished with Doc. You did Australia, Asia, Sleepy, and Doc. Those were the four. Okay. For those of you keeping track of uh, Somehow I really feel like I'm going to get this wrong. But North America. Bang! Bam! Now Got go it. back to this Snow White. Sneeze. I choose. Uh, um, okay. So, really uh, I, this is a gimme. South South America. I like the stutter. That was nice. Yep. The touch. Uh, West America. Wait, did you do a? <laughs> yeah. Did you do a? Paul is from West yeah, America. Yeah, I did. Most people don't know that. Sleepy. Um, I you did dark, sleepy, before. sneezy. Uh, grumpy. No, you did grumpy too. There's four you did. I don't think you did sneezy. I just he, did. He just did it. Didn't he? Oh. I'm back to another. And it named South America too. <laughs> I don't know if I know no, another dwarf. Oh, he named Doc, didn't he? Did he I did Doc. I did Grumpy. The most, the most popular dwarf of them all, man. You didn't name Everybody yeah. Loves. It's what Paul. It's what I usually describe Paul as. Number Stumpy. seven. <laughs> Number seven. Number seven. He's oh. got. He's got big ears. Hey. Oh, yeah. I'll give you a hint. One of them. One of them Dumbo. sounds like a. <laughs> Close. You got the first letter right. Sounds like ah, drug. Dopey. Which I should Dopey. Be. There it is. He's like, that's what I was in high school. I'm being pretty dopey right now. Maybe I've been lying when I said I hadn't been here. Um, and the other one usually gets red in the face. But you went up to that continent time. So oh, I know it. Continental. Europe? No. Are we trying to figure no, out No, European. Not me. Yeah, that's good. Europe's good. All right, go with the dwarf. Peter Dinklage? What? Oh, wait. <laughs> it took a minute in that one to catch up to me. Uh, <laughs> we love you, Dick. Let's come on the show. I've got room for you. Let's think, think of the, the blue Care Bear. I already about... said him. You did? Yeah, that was my first one. Think about getting red in the face. Did he say it? He said yeah, sleepy, sneezy, one. dopey, doc. Grumpy. Grumpy. Grumpy, and then there's at least one more. There's two more that I don't. So there's one more. One, Think of two, where. Three, four, um, five. Did you see all of them? Six. Penguins live. Oh, fire. Oh, am I on continent or am I on? No, you, he's on. I'm dwarf. on dwarf. He said Europe. Yeah, Europe's a continent. Everybody's watching is like Nate yelling at the screen all the answers, and they can't believe that you don't. There, it's like <laughs> Maybe friend. they join. Well, yeah. if Heather Faye was to join, what? Well, it wouldn't be entertaining, you know, if, if I just rattled it all. Yeah, I know. It's like if you just try to pull on someone's album for free, <laughs> that would, would be, be crazy. After, after the drink, yes, it would be. Here, look. This, girl, this girl's too busy to come in, but you should buy her album. What? <laughs> I'll drink to that. Here we go. Pow, pow. 
pound, 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 well, pound, pound. you're almost done. Okay, so 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 I'm trying. These here. people will I be really on my know. show. You should buy their album if you want to. <laughs> I don't know any more dwarfs. I'm done. Okay, <laughs> I think he's yeah, Bashful, Antarctica, Bashful. and okay. oh, I had Antarctica in my pocket. We could have said oh, okay. We could have said Bashful. Why did you say? Why did you say Canada? That was a continent. Canada. <laughs> Why did you say Canada? It's not <laughs> Canada. In Canada, I I I, I failed on that. Oh. It's okay. It's late. Wait, it's when you say one. it's late, it's eleven eleven. This is like the earliest. All right, I got one for you. Which uh -oh. chip is this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there, there was more than one. I bet my wife would know that. Yeah. I That's bet my cool. wife the house. I actually yeah, do yeah. want you all to write some challenges. The chip with the big glasses. That looks a little like Monica, doesn't it? Oh, I think. I oh my God! It does. I have oh. one. <laughs> I have one. She even has a pillow behind her head. Nice. <laughs> what is that? We should do a side by side. Someone take the time to do it. Oh, hilarious! A leaf. Oh, leaf. <laughs> <laughs> it's is it like Ryan Leaf? Oh, you don't know who he is. All right, well, that's all I have for you. I, have, okay. I look like a chipmunk. Oh, don't be. It could be worse. Chipmunks are cute. That's funny. No, that is funny. And now we have two. Only two people watching. And now this show is getting it's the longest, greatest, longest show of the year. Month. Now we're, we're a parody yeah, of ourselves. Toy bins. We are having a good time. Do you want me to leave and watch? I do not. You can watch and participate at the same time. What is that? Um, great. Okay, if I tame, was that a pistol? Oh, what bow is and that? arrow. Can you shoot us? It's my son's. Yeah. It's not a bow and arrow. It's is a lightsaber. It... With a bow? Oh, wait. No, I have, I have. For those of you just tuning in, Daniel Fontaine, yes, is indeed wearing the circle shirt. So you should circle Did somebody him. say lightsaber. <laughs> uh oh, not copyrighted. Not copyrighted. Bad. That's not a real lightsaber. No, that's true. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> he made an excellent Who else says lightsaber and has one in reach? It's... <laughs> is that like is a that, Ferris lightsaber? The... His name was Daniel Fontaine and he he, he, he <laughs> Alright. I should wow. it is a lightsaber. That was... you no, know, it's the double, it's like general general grievous. General Grievous, right? Yeah. You know what people say it's a double edged sword? Well, I'm saying it's double edged sword. I have two of those. Oh, that thing. You can push that thing in? Yeah. That's, that's, that's how they do it in the movies. Didn't you watch the movies? Uh, usually, <laughs> usually you don't push it. You just hit a button. Yeah. You're, and your hands are going to pull through your hands. Well, don't you know how a lightsaber works? It's got this sharp cutting laser that cuts things. So, All the, I have is toys to introduce to this game, but I know somebody here will know this. Wait, are we doing Teenage Mutant questions? Ninja Turtle is this. Leonardo. Hi, my name is Corey Feldman. They didn't take me back. <laughs> this big skateboard they mounted him on. They called that. Oh, my God. <laughs> call that a car. Yeah. Is that like the Back to the Future version of Teenage Mutant It's bigger than a Hot Wheel. All right, that's all I can introduce to this. I Do you have a hoverboard by any chance? Wait, is that a newer? That's a newer Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy, huh? Oh, yeah, my son got it for his birthday this year. It's got a, It's remote control. But again, they called this a skateboard. I was like, that's a car. <laughs> does it shout how a bumper? It's a, a seatless bumper. car. No, he does say some stupid stuff. Yeah, he probably oh. does say how a bumper. Hold on here, let me see. <laughs> if you're watching, who makes TMNT? We love you. <laughs> He's going to say something PC, I'm sure. He's going to say something uh, hey, The batteries are dead, so you don't have to worry about it. Pizza, what did you use Italian. those batteries for? Right. Hmm? Oh, use the batteries in the light saber. Okay. No, no, no. I just well, I don't have the remote either. I just have the 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 thing. I think the button to make him go like Calabunga, dude, or whatever is uh is um. I'm gonna invite the turtle. See if the turtles come in here. They have a page. The Ninja Turtles. Teenage oh, Mutants. I'm in on the fifteenth. I'll be there. I'll be there solo from there. Good Where are you gonna be? I had to double check. I get the, the digital calendar, but then there's the one that's got the handwritten stuff on the wall, which sometimes has stuff that I'm not aware of on it. Interference <laughs> to run the interference. So I'll be... <laughs> Is there anyone that you want me to invite? 
Invite. Cheech Marin on Google Plus? I should do that, right? <laughs> oh, I should invite George to kick because he hangs out. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, Adrian Kirk was hanging out the other day. I should let him go here. I wonder how many invites invite celebrities Cheryl get. Hunter. I bet they don't get a lot of invites. Cheryl Hunter? Either. Yeah. I just got a notification from her. She Does Cheryl Hunter have blonde hair or black hair? Because two just pops out for Blonde. Blonde. She was now the wrong, the wrong Cheryl Hunter is going to come in here. <laughs> she was, You're not the um, Cheryl Hunter. <laughs> that I'm looking for. She, was, um, she spoke at um, uh, TED um, San Francisco. Invite Robert Anderson. And Is he still to exist? I thought he was busy. And Bobby today. Mm. What, the brother and, and sister team? And Joe Bolin. Uh, he doesn't want to play. Joe Bolin. And I wish Lace and Strike would come, but he won't. Lace and Strike? Yeah. He's, he won't. He just won't. <laughs> Invite everyone from so what's, this hangout. So what's everyone, everyone? Anyone have Labor Day weekend plans? They want to talk about while we're buddy people. All right. Yeah. We're going surfing. USA. Surfing USA. Um, well, I just opened the chat and I got a good chuckle. You didn't look at. You didn't see what we were writing the chat. Oh man. No. <laughs> we were helping you. <laughs> that was actually we wrote it after you said it. No, yeah, but it's fine. I I was kind of playing it up for. No, we're playing it up. Don't lie to the people. Yeah, he was playing it up. How's that be it? It's a uh, Latitude Forty IPA, and it is very very good. Oh, I should invite Lee Alice if he's got the beer show. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, actually, that's a good beer. I would I would like that beer. I took care of that one for you guys. Now I gotta go on to the shop. Wait, that, you finished that already? Wow. No, 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 I didn't. I'm, <laughs> I was pouring it like onto the floor in front. <laughs> so, hey, it's almost. I think in Australia it's Friday. So that is correct. I think Australia is almost Saturday. Oh, that's um, how many yeah. hours is it? That is oh, maybe it's just twelve hours. Yeah, right. So Daniel Fontaine, went, so if you're watching, this is Conversation Plus. Earlier hours ago, we talked to someone named Sarah Hill. Yep. I didn't get to see that, but I wish I did. Okay. Well, that's cool. You can watch the recording. It's fine. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it tomorrow, probably. She's lovely. She was, uh, she, was, she was really nice. Uh, next week, Mark Rodriguez, and then you're all going to come to the Hangout Conversations anniversary show. That'll be... In fact, let's talk about this. So this is crazy, because I'm not going to sit there and schedule people. I have Sweet 709. Then I'm going to do four hours, take, a, take like five minutes, four hours and five minutes, do that. So I'll probably have, what is that, 24? I'll have probably like five parts or something like that, five or six parts. But you guys, I should cut it into like two-hour parts, not four-hour parts. No one's going to watch four-hour parts, are they? I was going to say that. Well, people might watch live. They'll tune in live. Then I'll have to edit, edit it yeah. somehow. Wait, how long? I'm doing a marathon. I'm going to do, but obviously I only, you only get four hours a shot. But I could do something where I end it every hour instead of every four hours. Right? Can you do, the yeah, night before, do a public hangout from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. and circle all the public creeps? <laughs> and then invite them following me. Hey, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what's the public creep you speak of? People that the penis showers and the... Uh, Why do I have to do that? I could just talk to certain people that collect those people. Yeah, because know, that would be cool list. to have a whole room. Would that be cool? Because on air would totally never... Would, there would be like a five second on air. Be like, hey, and now I'm going to show you all the... They're not going to show you their penis. They're gonna. There's not going to be any women in the room. So it's going to be like all of a sudden, you're going to be able to talk to them. Wow, that's a great <laughs> plan. All of a Yeah, you judge it, but you've never tried it, so. <laughs> yeah. Paul, did you ever do something like that? I just, I just gave you a golden idea. And... Well, Paul. I'm going to go do a public hangout right now, and I will report back to you. Are you really? You should. With the results, I will. Uh, it won't be on air, but I will just test it. I'll let you know. Do well, you guys. Do you guys yes, want to I haven't done it for a while, oh my so gosh, we might as well test the waters. Really good idea. Just as a control, 
Let's do let's go do it. Do you want to see right, what happens? Wait, do you want to see what? Wait, do you want to see what happens? Are you yeah. leaving for good, Monica? All right, it's all good. Uh, Monica's way no. to say good night. No, but that is a totally good. Do you idea. want me to invite all my circles to see what happens? I've yeah. been I've been in some crazy public hangouts. Yeah, I wish we could make more going on there. <laughs> All right, now I'm going your circles. Let's see the crazy people have in my circles. Here we go. There's none in there. Is you have your, you reached your limit, right? You have like 5, I have a five thousand though. Five thousand is like a public hang. I don't know all. Of them. And Paul and and Paul, what you were speaking of totally happens. Yeah. And like and and like the, and and those people like they don't get like reprimanded at all. You know what we have to well, do. We have to get a room blocked. full of. Seven guys, and we all change our, our I mean, profile like, pictures like, to attract women. I just women. have to just, I just have to, I just have to leave, <laughs> and then they like keep writing to me, like in in the uh, ch in the uh, chat box, mm -hmm. you know, and like, and like asking me like for my Skype mm -hmm. number or if I have a Facebook account. And it's just they're like, trying to get to this country and become a citizen. I, I don't. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe they're trying to get a freaking green card. But you know, but it's just yeah, like the land of hopes and dreams. But it's just like, it, but like I mean, I was in one recently that was labeled um, small business owner marketing marketing skills. And I was just like, well, that's cool, you know that, you know, I have the time for that, and that totally, you know, applies to me. And it was just like full of these of kids, and and they were and they were just, you know, writing me stuff like that, and like being really lewd, and you know, and you know, Elizabeth, you know, show me this and show me that, and and it was just gross, and it's just like, yeah, that'd be awesome, like you know, to circle all the, or to round up all those folk and and uh and, and bring them to want to hang out and then light it on yeah. fire <laughs> light it on fire <laughs> burn that hang up burn, burn it down to the ground burn Hollywood burn burn it baby burn it that's pretty cool Paul and Daniel definitely look that's got the horrible brother, the brother. The brother. what's brother up you got the brotherly look going on we, we, we don't want to tell anyone that but I'm I'm see, I'm, I'm actually a Rustam yep yeah. he's my son you guys, wow! And you're like what? Two years apart? <laughs> two years apart, maybe? No, Fontaine's older than me. A lot yeah. By two me. years, right? Fontaine's oh, fifty-three. Looking. Fifty-three. <laughs> he slept on the floor, and he's fifty-three. What? He that's could. Crazy. He could jujitsu all of our asses right well, out the door. That's that he could do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he could body paint it. Mm -hmm. Although oh, I think I think I'm, I think I'm bringing the I think I'm, the BJJ hangouts will finally be making a triumphant return next week. I'm hoping. Oh, cool. Speaking of BJ, where's Bobby Joe? No idea. Oh yeah, invite her. Does she not do hangout conversations anymore? Dude, that's like asking if you body paint anymore. No, it's Is actually it? nothing. He said no, it's not. So <laughs> BJ hasn't done the show. She's welcome to come to the anniversary show, but she hasn't been part of the show since April. Because she is She's doing her own thing. She's watching now, though, I'm sure. Oh, of course she Hi, is. Hi, Bobby Joe. Such a <laughs> Nobody's watching right now. Does she it say doesn't, zero? She doesn't think, no. she doesn't think that she I like her. Zero. Oh, let's not get into I don't know. The drama, the drama. Wait, so we can talk about the fact that Google Plus has more drama than Facebook and Twitter and MySpace because we have this kind of thing. No, true? no, no, but it's not true. But it's not true. No, I, I, that would be good if she came on. Okay. If she's, I, I invited all my circles. She's in my circle, so. Okay. All right. Um, um, but, I don't uh, think Monica's coming back. Yeah, I oh. think that was a ploy to go go bye bye. That day. It's fine, Monica. Bruce Cabo, are you still awake? We control the other Hangouts live. Let's see who else is oh, hanging oh, out. Oh, invite you, Ming. Okay. Is he, ba is he back from France? No, I don't think he is. I'll invite I him. Invite in I, you can. I invited. Well, him invite in, invite him anyhow because it's um it's um it's only five thirty there. Oh, Monica's in a public hangout. Of course, she is. With two. Uh, Random guys. <laughs> Yay! She's recording in the field. Light them on fire. Fire. Monica's working it. She's doing it. 
out there in the field. Oh, yeah, she, oh it just filled up, too. Oh. <laughs> It'd be cool if... Um, oh, if I she hope was, she has some good feedback. She's screen sharing this hangout to them. <laughs> she should. Here, let me... See. Uh, Hello, creepers. <laughs> Welcome Fish to Jarrah. Conversations Plus, Jarrah. Well, we're in hour 25. Oh, yay, Bronwyn, yay. We can talk, we can talk about, um... Hey, hey, you gotta welcome hey, Jarrah like that, too. You can't I just did. clap and applaud. Bronwyn, hey! Bronwyn, hey! Hey, Coast, hey. hey, Coast, hey. Coast, Coast fan. Hey. Coast, everybody loves the Coast to Coast. Jarrah. Yeah. We were, we were listening to that you. last night. <laughs> I missed You're making yes. me paranoid. Wasn't it, awesome? <laughs> it was an awesome, awesome show. I was I very, it was the first, first time I've ever heard it, Coast to Coast, anyway. Um, you liked it, huh? Yeah, I did. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, tune in later. Good, good, good. I know. You were stoked that Bill Nye was on. <gasps> I know, I know. <laughs> have so you been in, have you been enjoying this show so far, Brown one? Um <laughs> yeah, been, hey. sure. She do you watch no she watched but you watch the Sarah Hill uh, part, I watched right? the Sarah Hill part. I watched the Sarah Hill part. Did you enjoy that? I did. I very much liked her and I liked what she's doing with um veterans. And um my grandfather um he died the day before my thirteenth birthday. Um, but he was a World War II vet, and I had no idea until I found out at his funeral. So, yeah. Yeah, and um, so it was my birthday, and I find out that my grandfather did all these things that I had no idea about. So, but, um, He was way more awesome than you knew. He, he, he was awesome sauce, good, like, actually. Awesome sauce. <laughs> my grandfather so, was World um, War II. He was a cook, I think. Yeah, so I, and I lived down in, in D.C. Um, for a few years, and I um, I liked fit, taking lunch down there by the, the World War II Memorial because it was very peaceful and very um, serene and very nice, quiet space, and uh, just to get clear my head from dealing with, you know, stuff that you deal with at work when you work in D.C., so... But yeah, that's uh, what she's doing with um, that organization. Um, seems really, really cool. She's a winner. She is a winner. So Monica's playing an awesome game. We stopped playing it, but does anybody have anything that they want to add to uh, that game? We didn't even finish the seven continents and seven dwarfs, but oh well. That was good. That was lots of fun. Uh, I can. I think. I think Jared should play the game. What Jared, is the game? Would you like to play the game? The game is going to come up something random for you to do. Does, does the guy behind you have headphones on? <laughs> it appears so. You should go scare the crap out of him. Yeah, that would be a good, that would be a good part of the game. Would he, would he know <laughs> stand up behind him. that you were coming? <laughs> yeah, but he has... Did you, yes. did you get in trouble for that? Yes, does he know? Yes, D. Oh, oh, all right, shit. so you probably shouldn't do that. So no. that's a bad idea. That's scary. Bad idea. Well, no, that makes for good job, Paul. Hang out television. <laughs> yeah, no, that totally, would be, it would be drama. totally bad if we do it. <laughs> we would, would we go to hell? Funny to talk about it, but it's only bad if we do it. What if you like throw like a like a like a peanut at him? You have a peanut. Throw a grenade throw? into the yeah. other room. Oh, okay. Call me bastards. <laughs> All right. Because <laughs> yeah. you know he looks old enough to have been in the Cold War. <laughs> well, it is cold in certain places around the world. So. It's That's cold true. in Vietnam at two in the morning when it's raining. <laughs> when it's dewy. <laughs> so we went from World War Two vets to that. Uh, thanks a lot. I Mr. used Mr. to Stone. eat beetles. I used to eat. <laughs> And is anyone participating in the August Best Shot event? What is the August Best Shot? Is that? For photography? Oh, that kind of Best Shot. Now I get it. I have two girls, and there were two awesome shots. Okay, well, it starts in 30 minutes. When is it over? At the end of August. Oh, it's only one day? Tomorrow. Well, I mean, it ends. It ends tomorrow for for entries. Yeah, yeah I think it was going all month. Can we right, talk about right, the right, fact right, that yeah. it's the last day of August. What the hell? I know. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. What happened? Wait, you can wear white for a couple more days. Hello, fall. 
Mm. Fall. Oh, football's back. Football's I was back. happy about that. Football's back. Football's back. Good. Football's yeah. my favorite month mm -hmm. or my favorite season. Mm -hmm. Best Ball's shot is already closed. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, uh, Matt. Our, our draft is drafting tonight. We'll oh, is it? I didn't even like mess with it. I'll just. I usually mess with it after. <laughs> no, no. I know. I, oh, I, I don't know what, what my login is. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know. It's you lying. know your logger, but not your login. That's probably a hacker. He's a hacker. <laughs> you guys He's not the real guy. He doesn't know his login. It must not be him. Do you guys have seen seasons where you all where you all live? Yes. Uh, I think everybody is on the East Coast except yes. Tara. No, I'm on the East Coast. I mean, everyone Michigan. is on the East Coast. Michigan's not, <laughs> not a coast. Yes, it is. EST. And we've got seaports. Uh, Okay, yeah. Michigan, Michigan's really the Midwest. Come on. Whatever. Uh, we don't want to live in the Midwest. We work very hard to be Canadian. Please. <laughs> well, the Midwest of Canada. What a very You live in, North, in southern like Canada. South, there you go. <laughs> south Canada. South Canada. <laughs> I live in follow, Michigan, follow South Canada. Schmitty. Schmitty. <laughs> Yeah, Heather says she loves Schmitty, by the way. Heather Faye loves Schmitty. Who the hell is Schmitty? Hello? <laughs> that was a good ringtone. Slippy, okay, she says Slippy. Right Bubba and Schmitty and Steamy. Hey, where's Steamy? I will be right back, people. The internet. Steamy. Is Steamy is the coolest. one of the seven dwarfs? Steamy is the coolest Steamy. seven dwarfs. What about, what about Jewy? <laughs> or Schmissy? Jewy and crunchy. Crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> nerdy, white and nerdy. Oh, where in Michigan? Jared, where in Michigan do you live? Don't be afraid. Say that loud. There's Dude, no I'm afraid of where I live. I live in Detroit. Ann Arbor. Oh, you live in the miles. That's a continent for sure. <laughs> I live in the miles. Way. That's that's it. True. And the clo the smaller the mile, the closer you are to Detroit, the worse it gets. It's crazy. So you get right to like the last four miles, then it becomes like corporate and commercial and university, and it's really different. Okay. It's like the heart of darkness. But when you go outside of that in any direction, you'll find like literally miles of burnt out, ruined, just rubble, kibble, as Philip K. Dick would have put it back in, uh, you know, do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep. Literally kibble. It's just a ruination of human habitation that is empty and devoid of life, and it's falling apart. Miles. It's really, really creepy. It's like Fallout, <laughs> but in real life. That was, that was well said. I wow. know. You painted a portrait in my mind yeah. with those words. Straight up. Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo. Was, look, Let's play it. Let me Thank steal. You guys. I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna steal something from uh, Kevin Pollock. He does something called the Larry, Buku, loquacious. The Larry King game. <laughs> So let's play a Larry King game. Daniel Young first. You have to reveal something in your in the worst Larry King accent ever. Reveal something about Larry that you wouldn't want. I have to look want. up the, Larry the King accent. The again. worst act, the worst Larry King accent you uh, impression you can do. Reveal something on the air that nobody wants to know about, and then go to the phones, and it helps if the city is funny sounding like Calumbus. Wait, wait, wait. So I'm, I'm, you, I'm pretending to be Larry King. I'll give you an example. Uh, let's see. Uh, these suspenders are the only things holding up my balls. <laughs> hey, Michigan, you go. All right, there was the there was the example. Fontaine, you're up. <laughs> Doesn't have to be good. You can make it long. You can make it short. That's what she said. I. All right, Paul, you go. Yeah, Paul. Go. <laughs> you could do the glasses, do the crunch. The crunch? I don't know. Just I don't, I've like never watched Larry little... King in my life. Just okay, me. I'm uh, I'm watching it right now, so I can do this. Yeah, man. Research. Oh, Elizabeth's gonna do it. Go, go ahead. <laughs> in the Just summer of 1942, me and Buddy were in the barnyard. Oh no. All right, this is a bad idea. Next game. No, 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 I'm on it. I'm on this. I'm not. Right. I just got to prime my voice. I'm going to get sued by I'm Kevin Pollock. I can't I'm wait. I'm smoking to get the Larry King thing going. You invite Michael Morata. Yeah, but this needs a little channeling. Can, can anyone Morata. else do a Larry King here? Like throw on some glasses or something? <clears throat> I think I got that. All right, Daniel. Daniel, what do you want to do? Right now. 
make your voice gruff, and then try to whine through it. Whine through it. There you go. Do, do, do it up. My wife, Sean, now is add, sleeping Add with. a little Jewish, add a little Jewish accent, and I th think you've got it. I got it. When my wife, Sean, was sleeping with the baseball coach, I cried myself to sleep <laughs> while cutting my toenails with my teeth. Jarrah in Michigan. <laughs> Yay! That was beautiful. That was for the win. That was good. I liked it. I would have to... I'm going to edit that out, cut that little piece out, and it'll be its own video. The, the, the worst thing that's ever happened kind of thing? Or just something that oh, happened no, in the worst? No, it doesn't have to be the worst. It could be something that we don't need to know sexually or, or bowel movements or just anything. Maybe, maybe he, something really, he's, you know, he's 120 years old, something like that. Whatever. What was the question? <laughs> Sorry. Say it again. Go again, Matt. Ask the question one more time. I was thinking about the answer. That's all. No, I didn't forget. I don't need a prompter. Go ahead. Tell, what's the question again? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Shit, it's both of us. I told you it was contagious. There, is that good? Yeah, that's good. Now go to the phones. <laughs> now, let's go to the phones. First question. Uh, 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 what the hell is the name? <laughs> Elizabeth, Elizabeth uh, says, so I own my glasses, it looks like Snyder. It's a Snyder. Elizabeth Snyder from that place that's even smaller text. <laughs> and you're up! All right, let's go. <laughs> Just ask away. I don't care. Just ask your question. Where do babies come from? Am I the, call am I the caller? <laughs> you got to go Larry King's game. You have to take on the Larry King. <laughs> you have to do your Larry King for us. Larry Queen. Do a Larry Queen. But it's hard for me because I don't have a man voice. No, so that does. just makes it funnier for us. It's funny. All right, we won't embarrass uh, what, what Elizabeth from that. Let me give me a little bit more time. We'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. Yeah, next caller. Miss, this is Paul Rooston from from Houston. From from <laughs> Houston, that looks like ah. All right, from Houston, go ahead, sir. Ask your question. I'm waiting. My oh. prostate. <laughs> I got nothing, man. Come on, my prostate doesn't have all day. I'm my prostate here. is the size of a small boy's quenched fist. There you go. Okay, In a class, I missed Michigan. something. Larry King game. All right, let's stop playing Larry King. I miss Ovaltine. I, I, well. I, I met Larry Queen. I met Larry King. You met Larry Queen? Sweet. I, don't know. I met Larry King in October. Now, do a bad impression of what he said to you when you met him. A little. Whoa. He do it in his voice. Say, he didn't say anything. He, has well, to do he, uh, he said something. Make it up. He, uh, we have viewers. He he nodded in approval of what I had said, and uh, he's like, uh, "You, I, don't know, I can't do Larry King." Uh, make it bad. Just make it bad. Uh, Just make it bad. I didn't... Uh, there you I'm go. Larry King, and you make a really great <laughs> egg cream. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. There it is. That's in Beverly Hills, for. he he owns the uh, Brooklyn Bagel. Brooklyn Bagel. Brooklyn Brooklyn Water Bagel Company. I and love uh, I water. and they have uh, with Ubet syrup. They have actually Ubet syrup fountain, and you can make egg creams. And the guy that was and I was taking all these pictures because you know I'm from New York City and I'm in Beverly Hills on a work trip, and I'm like I'm eating bagels. It was surreal. And so I was taking pictures, and the guy um, who worked there, he's like, you know, oh, are you from New York? Because we get a lot of tourists, and they always, and they're the only ones to take pictures. Nobody else cares. And I was like, yeah, I'm from New York, and I ordered an egg cream. He said, can I watch you how you make it? Because everybody does it differently. And so I made it the way I make it. And I was explaining why I make it the way I make it. Because um, um, everybody does it differently. Because I always put in the seltzer last. Some people put in first or in the middle, but, you know, whatever. And I turn around, and um, there's Larry King. And he's sitting at his table holding court. And he looks at me, and he raises his glass, and he nods. I was like, oh my god, I got like a Larry King nod of approval. It was awesome. And I was that was like my one day that I was allowed outside when my 
The company sent me to uh, Beverly Hills. <laughs> they allowed me to be outside for a day. That was the funniest so part I'm, of the story. I'm Actually, not they didn't me. allow her. They just didn't lock her door that day, and she got. Uh, I spent I spent a week in California in Beverly Hills in a hotel conference room with no windows. I was oh, only allowed out. Who were you she working for the, the NSA? That's wretched. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was allowed out for 15 right? minutes a day for like meals. <laughs> we had a lot of work to do. Didn't you ever run to the vending machine and hope it takes your change? <clears throat> oh wait, isn't the worst with the vending machine when you when it gets stuck? Tell us a story about the time a soda or a drink <gasps> or a candy got stuck. Use Larry King's voice. You're on Paul. You're up. <laughs> and you sucked. All right, Danny, you're next. When I was a child, I loved a butterscotch, a butterscotch candy. I grab them with my hands, <laughs> and I'd eat them. And lo and behold, I was about, I was about fourteen years old. And one day, I got the fuck out. And, and lo and behold, it's why my voice is as scratchy as it is. Matthew in Boise. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, I'm going to make a Daniel Fontaine tribute video. Please don't. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. Chug, chug, chug it. Oh, Terry Hill's watching. I'm sure she's happy about this. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, all right, I got to go. Hello, viewers at home. Do you really have to go? No. Oh, all right. Go. Ah, Jarrah. All right. Oh, you're going to do it, Snader. Go. Snader for the win. Here we go. Larry King. Bad. He, he called. You look <laughs> onto Abraham, your father, and onto Sarah that bear for you. And you call him alone, and you blessed him and increased him. Is this for the Sarah Hill you speak of? Or the man that messed up my white fish sandwich. Who is that that you speak of? Jera from, uh, who is, where are you from? Michigan? Yay. That was good. Motor City. Motor speak City. Speak your name. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Ah! up. You want the vending story machine? No, we don't need to keep doing. It. I don't know. So we don't. You can stop Larry King. Yeah. I think it's gonna hurt you. Yeah, I'd ra I'd rather do bad tricks for walking. <laughs> walk? You got a walk in? I'm, let's see your walking. No, I don't Hit have it. a walk in. I can do it in public yet. <laughs> I have a Sulu I can try to do in public, but I don't have a walk in oh yet. My. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Tell us something about Sulu that we shouldn't know. It's Sulu's voice. Well, as you know. <clears throat> well, as you know, I'm a very fine-looking man. A very handsome and good-looking man. With a deep, velvety, sweet-as-chocolate <laughs> voice. There you go. Sweet. Yay. Tell to people here on Google+. Plus. See what yeah. you're missing? This is on air. We're being talented for you. Oh, I totally forgot this is on air. What? Why else the, would we do this? Oh, I we could do it. I've the bottom of my eight octaves to get that. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, oh my God. God. Uh, any, so, any, any, anything new happen in your life, Fontaine, Jera, Bronwyn, Paul, um, God, Snyder? Nope. Yeah, actually. Nope. Pizza? Actually, Wait, hold the pizza up again. I'll take a shot. I've been blocked by someone today. Oh no, Google Plus drama. Sure. Oh no, 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 this isn't Google Plus drama. It's even so far farther on the total. You were blocked on Facebook. I know. Like, who cares about that, right? But that is news. I, I'm, I'm. I didn't know people block people on Facebook. Anyway. What news? is Facebook? That exactly. Where's, where's Alex Trebek? <laughs> Trebek. Trebek. <laughs> Do you know that, fun fact, most of the toothbrushes and other prisoner items in uh, South Carolina federal jails, so I assume all federal jails, were at least once manufactured by a company named Alex Trebek, Inc., owned by Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek, Inc. He, he used to own a company 
that sold various condiments and items and treats to prisoners at an insane markup. Wow. Which is probably how he afforded to run... This was before... Is this post-Jeopardy or before Jeopardy? No, apparently this was while Jeopardy. Oh. Well, I guess he was severely into pain on Jeopardy, right? I think he was doing that for fun. I mean, it doesn't take much... <laughs> Jeopardy or the prison? Jeopardy. I think the prison was a, a business he either inherited or started. <clears throat> the truth about Alex Trebek. Here on Conversation. I have to confirm this. Is that really true? I know that Bill Murray does drink warm milk before he goes to bed. Well, I know that uh, all the stuff I was getting had his name on it, Ink. And uh, when I got back out and looked it up, he seemed well, to own it. Uh, there you go. That works. So. I don't know my login to the, the Google Plus Fantasy League, and I'm trying to recover it right now, and I don't even know what email I associated with it. Exactly. So football's coming up, and Daniel's uh, upset he can't get his fantasy game. His fantasy I'm sorry. Game. Yeah. No, it's fine. I hope you log in. I want you to uh, have a shot. If I didn't shot it. Winning the joy. I won last year's uh, draft. I won. I won two leagues last year. I was like, yeah, I felt like I, I got the crown. I won fifty dollars. Big money. I won like I don't know what it was, but it was like a couple hundred. I was pretty happy because it was two leagues. Congrats on me. Big money. Big money. I, I just got promptly a simple oh. league. So if we were all to meet up in one city, what city should we go? Detroit. They've got Milwaukee. a lot of Boise rent wow. areas. Boise, Idaho, Detroit, Milwaukee. I see. I don't hear any southern states. All I hear is north and cold. Albuquerque. That's because you said it's one that we'd all meet in. No, not Albuquerque. That's like, <laughs> that's like Wilmington dropping. Look, in. we're choosing a place. We can go anywhere in the world. And these are the cities you guys are throwing at me? Oh, oh, oh anywhere okay. in the world. Oh, oh hello. Yeah. Um, oh, American here. Okay. Thailand. Um, Thailand. That's not Bangkok. Well, you want to? Well, Wait. where Bangkok or Thailand? Mean. Bangkok. It's a long or flight. Thailand. Bangkok or Thailand? Did he say? Um, I, I want say to say. Did, did you say Bangkok or Thailand? No, yeah. I didn't. I thought you I did. You said I didn't Bangkok or Thailand. That. You did say it, though. I didn't said it because I'm tired. Ah. Same thing. Leave me alone. Somebody uh, rewind the hangout, please. <laughs> Can I go to the video tape? Bangkok is just one place in Thailand. Leave me alone. Wow. Yeah, that just looks like it's I, the It's I comedy. Suggest, I that suggest Tortola dumb. in the British Virgin Islands. Okay, let's talk about a place maybe that's possible. Oh, what? Detroit. The, the British like Virgin I said, Islands. It's red. Is there a place possible. between Detroit and Bangkok, maybe? Let's talk it's about you and me. To Cuba. Cuba. Cuba would be cool. Yeah, let's go to Cuba. That'll be a great trip. <laughs> <laughs> British, British Virgin know. Islands. Let's go. I don't know if you've tried it. If you're watching, you where should we go? Island? We're all going to be on a boat to Gilligan's Island, and we're going to wind up where? In, Where? In the, the Himalayas. Good, everybody. Girl, yo. Why not yeah. the Himalayas? They're very beautiful. In the highest. What about Dublin? They have great salt. Dublin. About, Should we go to Dublin? Yes, Dublin. I second that. Now. Dublin. Venus, Dublin. LA, bubbling in Dublin. We can meet in the pub in Dublin. Oh, the pub. Okay, pub. okay that means... Lager. Daniel, tell us how many, uh, uh, estimate Pass how pub. many pubs there are in Dublin. How uh, many people are there in Dublin? Half Is that... What? Add 20, that's how many pubs. There's more than that. There's like a million times. There's at least three or four. I thought there was one pub for every two people. Exactly. Plus 20 people. Right. Pubs. I can never remember. January 2011, the number of pubs. You're going back in time. By, yeah, okay. Back. Maybe that was the last time they were able to. I mean, you know, they only have so many people doing this job, and there are a lot of pubs they have to count. You know what time it is? Thirteen hundred in between January first, twenty ten, and January first, twenty eleven. I think it's time for Jerry Wolf's movie review.
Yay. All right, Jerry Wolf. What was the last movie you saw? And you would play. How to Drain to Train a Dragon. Oh, awesome movie. I did not want to see that movie. It was amazing. How to Train a Dragon. Is it was... a dragon or your dragon? How to Train Your Dragon, or oh, right. yes, How to Train Your Dragon, I believe is the actual title. A film by DreamWorks mm -hmm. came out in 2010. Mm -hmm. It was an incredible journey, mm -hmm. and it had heathen esque, uh, tongue in cheek culture mixed with it was Vikings and dragons. And it's one of the few movies where you actually get to experience dragon writing. I was a big fan of Anne McCaffrey's Dragon Riders of Pern. So, returning to this movie, this was a, a wonderful childish romp back through those memories. I would highly recommend it with two thumbs up for anyone with kids or anyone with a childlike heart. Awesome review. Very nice. Red Dragon. Follow your own. Last movie great. you saw and review. The last movie I saw was Crazy. C.R.A.Z.Y. And it was awesome. It was crazy awesome. It was a French French uh, drama film. Mm. I was only going to watch a part of it, but I ended up watching the whole thing. Cool. It's on Netflix, Instant Play. I can watch it, so you give it two, two thumbs up? Yep, totally. Snader, Elizabeth, what was the last um, one you saw? Uh, last week I saw um, on, well, on film um, La Traviata. That was it. That's it not was, a critique. That was just a declaration. <laughs> you had your turn, Jera. <laughs> yeah, Mr. I speak very eloquently. Yes. Please carry on. I'm sorry. I have a big vocabulary. <laughs> oh. Um, it was and good. And a swivel chair. Let's <laughs> get two thumbs up. Um, yeah, it was, it was very good. It was um, just a film um, of production from the um, New York Opera. Cool. Daniel Fontaine, Red Dragons. What uh, movie or kids movie did you probably see? Because you have fifty kids. Right you know, on the head, Mr. Rappaport. I saw the Lorax. Oh, oh how was that? Movie. That's next on my that's list. That's just good, yes. <laughs> that's awesome. See, it was a great, I liked him. cute movie that. That was Devito. It's Devito, the right? Moats yeah. at the right times. All these animated films that are coming out. On it. I'm doing things right in terms of catering the right amount of entertainment for the kids. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's made by the company that made Despicable Me. Yes. Which is a pretty damn awesome animation guy. Yes. All of them are really I think it's called really Illumination. Solid, right? But I have to say, um, you know, the music that's in it, I didn't expect the music, and there's some musical numbers. Yeah, it's catchy, it man. Very, very catchy. I actually made a Facebook status today, just tonight, referencing one of the songs that are in it, just to see how people would respond and nobody's got it and I some of the people responded with parents they obviously haven't seen it because it, it sticks in your head for like 17 to 55 hours but um, <laughs> the general messaging is very good and the characters are cute and they're done well and uh, I definitely recommend it for kids and adults alike and that was like my fam favorite Dr. Seuss book. I will go get that on Amazon now actually. and it was you know, it strayed like they created. They added all this crap to it. Yeah, but I, didn't, did. I didn't really mind it. I all. didn't either. I, I it wasn't my favorite, but I agree. What they added to it didn't take away from the overall. Yeah. Thing. Oh, I watched Oklahoma last night. Oh, Ooh. nice. That uh, is bringing some numbers back of the uh, waving wheat <clears throat> that choice must be. Pardon? The waving wheat that choice must sweet when the wing comes right behind the ring. Yeah, um, but I would. I was just thinking of like what I saw recently, like in a theater or. Oh, anything is good. Yeah, Oklahoma. So that's the first first time you saw Oklahoma. Oh no 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 no! I've I've seen it, I've seen it plenty of times, but I just happened to just watch it um, last night um, at home. Um, but. Did you sing along with it? Of course. Of course. I don't know how I feel about the ballet dream sequences, but uh, yeah, that is what um, So that was fun. Cool. Of, right. co Anybody I, of course, worried, of, course, I, of, course I, of course I sing as long as I'm alone. Oh. I work, sing work. in the in the car or. Um, You're just a girl that can't say no. Just can't say no. Well, 
I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I'm just naming songs for this. Uh, I know. I, I know. I, um, Poor Jed is Dead doesn't seem to be. That, I like I like that song a lot. He does get killed. Spoiler alert. Uh, Bronwyn, what about you? Movies? You see like a million movies. Um, yeah, I uh, the I haven't uh, finished. I'm I'm currently reviewing How to Go on a Date in Queens. It's a very horrible movie. It's probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Um, it took me three days to get to the first five minutes. I've actually seen the movie once before, and I decided that I'm going to um, share how horrible it is with the world. So oh. it, yeah. So I have our the first first five minutes. Um, on my profile, I, I wrote a post about it, I think, on Monday or Tuesday. And um, other than that, the last movie I actually finished to completion was The Room with uh, Tommy Wiseau. And uh, that was on Saturday. But that's a horrible movie, too. And that's what kind of inspired me. Because somebody <clears throat> said while we were watching The Room, there's no way there's any movie, anyone's ever made a movie that's worse than this. And I was like, oh, <laughs> you haven't seen How to Go, to, how to go on a Date in Queens. And um, and it, and it's a sad movie because it has a lot. It has a great cast, but it's just really bad. And um, it has Ron Perlman and Kimberly Williams and. And for those of you not know Rob yeah. Perlman, he is Hellboy and uh, Hellboy. Son of Anarchy. I'm seriously really confused right now. Uh, oh, I well. don't know the last. I got movie. mail. Yeah. I got mail, mail. And I got mail and. I don't. Uh, whatever. I don't know what my last movie was, but Dark Knight Rises, I think, was the last thing I saw in the theater. And, I, and everyone was like, Karen Wood was like, oh, God, it's a snoozer, it's boring, it's got too many monologues, no one understands pain. And I went to see it, I was like, it's a great movie. I don't know why everyone was being such a B-I-T-C-H about it. I, I get that it's not Heath Ledger, but it was pretty good. And, I don't know. Any of you guys see Dark Knight Rises? I haven't seen it yet. I didn't like how it was edited. I'd like uh, to see. Does that mean you didn't like it, or does that mean you didn't like how it was? It was made? entertaining, but I don't think that I don't I I can't believe that would that was the way that Christopher Nolan would want it edited. You yeah, did you think they, like, like it chopped was chopped the shit out of it in the middle? I, I'm ex I want to see like, so? yeah. You you want to see a director's cut? I definitely think yeah. the first cut was way longer for sure. Yeah, but like an hour longer. <laughs> probably Peter Jackson style. <laughs> it was um, just like chopped up. I liked it, and I thought I'm, I was surprised by Anna Hathaway because I expected her to not be good. So. Oh, I totally thought she was going to do awesome. She's oh, did she? super talented. Yeah. yeah, but Catwoman just didn't seem like her her thing. But she can do anything, man. She's a great actress. Oh, okay. Can she I didn't know how great she was. Did I see what? Oh, because bro oh, by Brooke Mac Matter, you judge me by that? Okay. <laughs> no, she just stole that movie away really from Heath Ledger. What? There's a lot of paperwork you have to fill out when you get fired, or uh, let go, or terminated, or position, whatever the hell they say. You know what's more disturbing? What is that poster behind you on the wall? <laughs> um, it's, Please uh, don't show us. Just tell us. I can't. It's um, 9, 10, and 11. What does that mean? It's a Doctor Who thing. It's Doctors 9, 10, and 11. Oh, they put three Doctors on one poster. That's brilliant. Okay. You gonna get you gonna get a poster with all the doctors, maybe? Um, I used to have one, but I don't know where it went, and I probably will. But this one was free with the last with the July issue of Doctor Who magazine. So Doctor Who magazine. Awesome. Free with the purchase of an oil change. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man! I didn't know you got anything for an oil change. Tom Baker yeah. was the doctor, so. What happened? Uh, Dale likes the doctor. No, I when I was in my youth. <laughs> in my youth. A couple of years ago. Did you say ute? Youth? Youth. What, well, what is it? The two you. What is a youth? Your Honor. All right, you do what you wish. <laughs> That's one of the movies I know almost by heart. <laughs> you are not alone. That is a movie we could all wait. Did everyone see my cousin Vinny, Jared? Yeah, I, not, I did, saw the movie. It was a great movie. It had that guy Vinny in it, right? I had like. A you should watch it. Like, I'll you go watch, watch it. it. You need to watch it. Okay. Yeah. It's been recommended because I used to do this like uh, mob imitation or. Okay. Can we hear it? Let's hear it. Bring it. From back in the day, I have to get in the mood. Let me get in the mood here. Get in the mood. 
All right, you guys start talking on Slippy. Let's see what we got. What do you guys sound like, Godfather? No, I sounded like, uh, I don't know, I, I kind of mixed it up. It was just for a thing I did. A little bit, a little bit. Kind of like uh, the you know, guy from Fargo. <laughs> kind of like the guy from Fargo? Yeah, he, he, yeah, Jarrah has a little Buscemi in him, right? Oh, yeah. that is the highest compliment. If I could be any actor, if I had to Dude. trade places in my life, it would be Steve Buscemi. I you take the bag teeth. I take the bulging eyeballs. I would love his life. I would so take his hey, acting career. Nucky or Nuki or whatever his name is. I love him. He's one of my favorite actors. You just, he is definitely great. You just touched my heart, Mr. Pang. <laughs> well, your voice. Your voice <laughs> Why do your I voice see Mr. Pang? Sounding like him. Because you're a fucking faggot. That is awesome. I love that. That is high compliment. And the well, shout out and the shout out to make that Goodbye. meta. Oh, you heading out? Yeah. <laughs> Call is done. Complete. Complete. Let's finish this at the beginning though. No. I like to. This show never used to go this long, and I stopped that, and now I brought it back for the anniversary edition. For the anniversary. The anniversary. Chris, let's all let's all do the guest hasn't been on the show for four hours. <laughs> leaves. That's happened before though. That's we've done that. That's, that's, so, yeah, I guess always leave and come and go, and then we. Paul, you haven't watched this show since like two. It's it's a show with yeah, guests, yeah, it's not not a prison. Did anybody <laughs> see the uh, virtual star party? People, has this that. become a prison? I watched virtual it with star virtual party? star party. Sweet, they love Doctor. You don't know the virtual star party? They have a telescope in the hangout. Fraser oh, King and. Uh, Paul's not having. It. How come Cheryl hasn't joined? What's her freaking problem? You said frack it. I can't believe you said one of the words you can't say on the internet. Say two words. Well, bye, Paul. Thank you for joining us. And he, he's bye, gone. Paul, no. he's out. I said we should have saluted him, but I tried. Totally okay with fracking, but that's a different story. Um, um, no. <laughs> I'm okay with fracking in BSG, not fracking in fracking the class. In so there you go. Pennsylvania, Oklahoma, yeah, or the upstate North New York fracking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No more fracking live, up there. I live in Pennsylvania and frack it away. Frack it away. Really? Yeah. Frack it away. No. Frack it away. Have, now. We have resources. Frack it. Um, but it, anyhow, um, what were we What were we talking no, about? No, I was oh, just going to say. We were talking about um, Jim Buscemi. Oh yeah, Steve Buscemi. Steve, Steve Buscemi. Steve, yeah. Steve Buscemi. Swoon. Um, yeah. All right. I so, like that. What? I like that response. That's <laughs> an excellent. Good response. So you're talking about your mob story. Oh yeah, I used he to. He was going to do an impersonation. I had a bit in a LARP, a uh, live action role playing game. Where was it came... like stand up? It was well, kind of like improv. It's complete improv acting, so to speak. Anyways, I was um, I was hired. I was actually a member of their staff to help. I got paid every night to go in and and play this. Is she okay? No, oh, that's her yes. dog barking. So I'm getting. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> no, that wasn't my dog. It was me. That was her laugh. That's me. Wait, can you can you choke quietly next time? Thanks. Well, then he needs to stop saying things that are funny when I'm eating. I will, try to I will try to refrain. My apologies. Wait, that was you laugh choking? I've never yes, heard a laugh it choke. was her laughing. I know that's Daniel, why. Have you ever heard a laugh She choke heard before? the word LARP and cracked up. See, I knew it. She knows what that is. And the rest of you are going, huh? And some of us, our viewers, are going, oh, I know what that is. And some of us are going, he's a geek. But, anyways. Don't be so hard on yourself. Let us do it. No, I, I, I wear that title with proud. I. Uh, with pride. But hey, Red Dragon, thanks for coming That's in. Laurel. Cheers. Red Dragon. Red Dragon. Red Dragon, go Bye, plus Bye, go Bye. check out all the photos I put you in. I got more company. Wait, I, know, I totally I know. met you, didn't hey. I? Hey. You yes, hello. It was my home. What are you, drug? Mr. Fontaine, love and pluses, sir. Love and pluses. No, Red, Red Dragon. Get out Red Dragon. Uh, hey, let me get this screenshot. Oh, no. Oh, you left. Yeah, all right. So, anyways, I don't know of it. I had to play this mob guy. His name was Leonardo Giovanni. Okay, everyone called him Leo. He wanted to become the boss in, down here in Detroit, and that was the role I had to play. So every night I had to come in and deal with various players who wanted to deal with the boss of Detroit, 
and um, I had to play an Italian, uh, an Italian guy. Well, a New York Italian guy coming in from the, uh, from New York, of course. And uh, I got paid a lot. That was like a really fun job, actually. <laughs> That's awesome. That, that was one of my best jobs. I just had to come in and I got to be someone I wasn't for about four hours. And they paid me very well. I paid my rent off that job and I worked once a week. That's awesome. Uh, Large. Marcus, live, live. Oh, I know live action role playing, but I never knew it. I was thinking about the short game. Okay. So a lot of them are small, but some of the bigger ones. Dungeons and Dragons, basically, is the biggest one. That's, yeah, that's... Well, no, Dungeons and Dragons is not the biggest one. It's I'd not say, the biggest role playing? I'd say Mind's Eye Theater is, with the vampire, werewolf, and main games than they play. Dragons oh, and it's what pretty much started LARP. Well, I remember one time I was sitting in this gamer house running a tabletop game, D&D, and in come these LARPers. And because one of the storytellers, the people who ran the game for them, was sitting there in my game, he liked my D&D game, and they keep interrupting the game. And one day I finally said, hey, guys. And they actually looked at me and said, what? It's not like this is real role-playing. So besides my friend holding me back at the time from climbing over the table, they were, they were very frustrating people, I eventually joined them. You couldn't beat them. And I got paid for it. It was a great job. That is awesome. Can... I'm trying to remember the accent I did. It was very, um, how did I get it started every night? Because I had to get it started. I'm just thinking about wrapping up soon just because it's been like two oh. hours and 40 minutes. So I need to hang out normally, but I, I, I going to say that um, a long conversation. I used to be very much anti-LARP, and I used to make fun of people who LARPed. And then my mom overheard me talking to a friend, and I was like, I don't want to go out with him. He, he's a LARPer. And she's like, what's wrong with that? What do you think I was doing when I was pregnant with you? Yeah. I was like, oh, no, my whole life is a lie. <laughs> you were a Quicksilver relationship. I was like, oh, my God. No, I was like, my, uh, but no, my, my parents apparently LARPed. That's probably how they met. Younger. No, they, that's not how they met, but... um. Yeah. Would have been so ironic. No, thank you. Don't you think? But uh, yeah. So I always laugh at people who say that they are. I'm sorry. I I know a few people. It's I'll been a long, long time. Long, uh, uh, would you guys be mad that I had to wrap up and then we can have a regular hangout? But everyone, if you've been watching this long, it's awesome. We've had a lot of fun. We have played a lot of games. We've been goofy. We've been silly. We had Sarah Hill at the beginning, and she was great. It was Garber. We had Sony who will come in here. Um, Bronwyn McDuckin. Elizabeth Snader. From the, she's, Elizabeth, you're going to report back on the cheesesteaks, right? Is that, yes, you're going to do that? I will. Please, please do that. Um, Jarrah Wolf with the, uh, with the lighter. And Jarrah, Jane Ellen was in here earlier as well. Looking all great. Jane uh, Ellen, if you're watching, I just want you to know right here for you, Jane, for you. And if you watch this later, You'll see it right there. Nice. And Monica as well was in here when she brought the great games. And uh, Dana Fontaine, Paul Rustan, everyone watching out there, thank you so much for supporting us. Next week, Mark Rodriguez, he does the Movie Mashup Tuesday. Really good guy. And we will be doing the anniversary show, which you should all come back for. Sweet 7 and I hopefully is kicking it off. And then we're all the guests and participants. And I will be like, by 6 a.m. in the morning, I'll be like, or 12 p.m., I'll be like, oh. Happy anniversary, Matt. Thank you. A year of G-plusin' and rockin' out on the yeah, Hangouts well, on Air. Hangouts conversation, yeah, for sure. Thank Congrats. You. Rock into the free world. We will see you next week. Love, peace, and kisses. Go wish someone a happy birthday. Go to Google.com and find out all the birthdays, because everyone loves doing that. Everyone welcome, smile welcome. for a picture. All right. Everyone's like, smile. I'm trying to get everybody a big a big shot. One second, you got to be a big shot. Hold on. Everyone I'm in my home. hat for that. Everyone at home. Wow, that was an interesting pose there, Melanie and Jarrah. Right, there we go. Are you ready? Nice. I have so many pictures. I don't know what to do with all of them. Uh, lick them. Lick them and stick them on the internet. So that's how I, that I do lick. it. Lick I will back. lick and stick. All right. So lick I, them on the it, internet. I will paste them on the walls. Of everything. All right. Good night. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Good night. Uh,